What a... Cheese time. Lactose filled dairy product. What a perfect transition. Cheese. Hi. Hi, hi. Hey. Is this me or my quiet? Is this cheese. me or is it cheese on my face? I actually can't tell because the camera is so close. I'm just kidding. I can actually see it. Like, cheese. Right. Oh, right. Right. There on, on the left. Cheese. I can't even point to it. Hi. Cheese. Hi. Cheese. Hello. Cheese. Holy crap. There's way too much cheese filled here. dairy product. I guess I should stand up now. Hi! Hi, 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 hi! Hi, Axia. Hi, Stewie. Bye, Stewie. Actually. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Hi! Hi, Shrimp. Hello, Shrimp. Hello, Mock Attack. Hi, Axia. Even though you just threw me away, Axia. Although, I guess... I, I, I don't understand if you were just trying to get the cheese off my face. Ah, I'll, I'll just I'll just pretend it's for a, for, a, for a kind reason. Hello, what's up? And hi and bye, Snipes. And Nukin and the Kitten. Hello. Which always reminds me of the... The Dutch phrase. That I probably shouldn't be saying an alley! That's the email you used. I'm providing sound for it. Cheese? Hi! Oh my god! Hi Nick! As well! Um, 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 who did I miss? Freb? Did I say hi to Freb? I can't remember if I said hi to Freb. I should have said hi to Freb. I don't think I said hi to Freb. Hi to Freb! Um... No? Ah. Gasaraki. Omnichuns! Hello, hello, hello! <gasps> Wait, who's patting? Shrimp! Ah, oh, thank you! Um, 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 um. New Joker, hello? Still working, two more hours of work. Oh god, good luck, Ali. Good luck, you can do it! The off-screen slap, yep. That damn Hitman briefcase-style cheers will always find its way to my face. But yeah, hi, New Joker. Not sure why I was by it. Oh, because I got yeeted off the screen, that's why. Ah! I probably should have said bye to Exia, though. At the exact moment, though, I couldn't tell who it was that was eating me. I said hi, and then was immediately being muted, so I said bye. Come to me! I swear to god you- well, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do this time? This time. What did I do? Hi, come to me. Wait a weird cat. Here, let me wash the cheese off. Oh, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Okay, okay. I see. Ashi! Hi! And thank you for the pets! Yeah, the Dutch phrase. Exactly. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. This time. I've said it in the past. I think more than once. Beautiful Yuki cat? Oh. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hi, hi, hi. Um. Oh, what the hell? I just noticed something. Do you see that? It might disappear when I zoom in. But look at my mouth. Wait, it's gone now. What the hell? Yeah, it disappears when I get close. But if I'm far back enough... There's a dot on my tongue. Very strange. Anyway, hello! I thought I'd fix all that crap about... Bricks. Uh... Yeah, I thought I'd fix all the stuff about dicks. UV seems... Yeah, yeah, I thought I'd fix all that crap on my VRChat avatar, like... A year or so ago, but apparently not. Maybe I never fixed the version on, on my uh, streaming setup. I only fixed the avatar on the VR chat. Who knows? Anyway, hello, hello, hi, hi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing okay. Um, also, I actually know you. Well, apart from the cat part, the, the dragon part, though. Um, yeah. How, how are peeps? How are the peeps? This will be an interesting stream. Slider, hello, 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 hi. I hope so, I hope so. I'm a little bit worried that it won't be. There's a joke there about investigating the issue, making out. I have to leave for work in like five minutes, so creativity is off the table. Wait, making out? What? Oh, because making out a thing in, in my mouth? Well, making out in my mouth then sound, already sounds loose. Um, hmm. Yeah. Good luck with work, Nick. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye 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 
the way. If you're going to be going in five minutes, I will, I will, I'll say bye in advance in case I forget. And I'll also try and say bye at the time. But yeah, um, I barely got any sleep at all. And speaking of creativity being off the table, that that's how I feel as well. I was thinking of continuing my work on Snook, the Uke Snake game, the long Uke Snake game. <sighs> but it's difficult to do when your your brain isn't yet awake. So I thought, hmm, there's this game I saw recently called Iron Lung, which is which looked interesting to me. It actually took me a while to realize what it was called because I saw it when I was on my phone and I couldn't see the name of the game on my phone and blah 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 blah. Anyway, it turns out I just it's happened that uh, Nexpo, a YouTuber, made a video about the fear of the ocean, basically, recently, and I watched it last night, and, and then in there he talks about the game, which I found interesting in the first place, so now I know the name of it, it is Iron Lung. <laughs> so yeah, I, I grabbed it and downloaded it, and thanks for coming with my TED talk about how you find and download a game. So I'm going to be trying to play Iron Lung today. I'm doing a live. <sighs> Understand, understand that. Couple hundred pages to rewrite for couple hundred pages. C c good luck. Unlong is indeed a good piece of horror. I hope so. I am. It was interesting to me, like the method of navigation and the way of having things be scary. So yeah, I should mention that I actually watched someone play this for like a while, maybe fifteen. Or 20 minutes, which is like a third of the entire game according to their own store page on Steam. They say it's like a one hour experience or something. So I'm hoping, I've, I've probably ruined it for myself, but it just looked so interesting to me, the way of navigating in the game. So I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. And anyways, it's me and I'm always distracted and, and never complete things in the time that you're supposed to complete them in. So yeah. 300 plus pages. Wait, what do you, what do you, is, is this like documentation for like programming or like fictional stuff or is it just like screens of code or what? Hit me, you can't leave me hanging like this now. I'm curious. Don't actually hit me, please. Please, I've, I've been hit enough and the stream's only just begun. I was gonna say a thing. Oh yeah, right. Please. <gasps> Hex, hi, welcome, welcome. I don't know if you were here at the moment that I said hit me, like, 20 seconds ago, but your timing for throwing the cheese was very appropriate. Thank you for the pants, Nick. I don't know about an hour, I think it's more like two to three hours. Yeah, apparently, uh, you're meant to be able to finish Stray in five hours, but it took me three streams. Each one about five hours. Cheese. So yeah. So yeah. I think it was three, or was it two? I think it was three. I might be wrong. Anyway. I'm sure you can finish in five hours. I could finish in five hours now if I were to do it, but like, you know, at the time I was wanting to experiment. Why is there so much cheese being thrown at me, Adam? Adam, Please. explain this. Explain this. Has it. Cheese. Fine. I was waiting for your explanation before it hit me, but. Um, wait, I missed someone else as well. I know I did, I know I did, I know I did. Mine bear! Hello, hi, hi! Welcome! Hits your head with pads? Oh, okay, that. I'll, fig I'll allow that one. I haven't and still haven't played yet. Well, I'm really sorry. In fact, Ashley, you might not. You, you might want to leave. I might be about to spoil the experience for you. Sorry. Maybe it's different when you're playing it yourself. <gasps> one second, one second, one second. Ah, oh, I just realized I've also probably missed a redeem from. I think it was Stuart. One moment, I'll have to go back into the list of activity and hope that it hasn't been shoved out at the end yet. Ooh. Happy hello! Also! <gasps> Wait, let me do that again. Uh, happy posture check to me over the top of my nyan. I'm joking, thank you for the posture check. I'll do it right after I've done that. Soon. <gasps> for the frame, there you go. You heard the, the trail of the reverb Jeez. before, I don't need to let that play again. Why is the cheese on my face? And hello, happy. Hi, hi, hi. Cheese. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. I've got to scroll all the way back. Hydrate. Yes, Stewie did do hydrate 20 minutes ago. Better late than never. You can probably do it again if you didn't just do it. I can't wait until this bottle with a dodgy cap is finished and I can start a new one. Which isn't going to destroy my fingers every time I try to open it. Huh? 
Oh, Shivy! Shivy, hello, hello, hi, hi! So you just a moment ago. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. And thank you for the very recent follow. Okay, what else did I miss? Hydrate from the Shivy, uh, blah, 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 pat, da, 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 throw cheese, da, 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 pat, da, 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 throw cheese, spray. Hydrate again. <laughs> I knew it. Well, let me just hydrate again. <laughs> Put the cap of another bottle in there. Uh, yeah, if I had one, I could actually do that. I mean, if I had one that was open. And didn't need its own cap. <sighs> perfect, perfect bottle tracking every time. I'll hear nothing else of it. But speaking of things you'll hear, you're gonna hear a new For a giant hex right now. <clears throat> My voice, my yawning voice is still not warmed up fully. But yeah, welcome, happy as well. I'm glad that you're feeling better than bit my bit. Ah, thank you for the pants. Um, is even a 3D bottle at the ready? Hell yeah! Stream is high tech. Oh, thank you! Um, this, this is like my Unity streaming setup that I occasionally work on. <laughs> like, once every few weeks now. I used to be going to two up. Like, more often, I used to worry that I was working on it too often. Alright, gotta go later... Cutie... Cukey? Cukey? That sounds interesting. Reminds me of QK. Bye bye, Nick! Good luck with your work! I was trying to line the cheese lining up with the nyan. Oh! I mean... You kind of managed, didn't you? Maybe if we remind each other, one of us will remember. Wait. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. I need to send you my cheese. I keep trying to remind- Oh, right! Yes, I should probably mention! For anyone who's new, the, the cheese voice line is the play whenever cheese is thrown in my face. <gasps> I noticed it just before my, uh, just before it arrived on my, my streaming setup. <laughs> Thank you very much, Happy! Holy crap! Holy hap! Thank you very much! For the gift of sub, and congrats to Shivi! Or commiserations, if you don't want to be subbed. I'd quite understand that. It's a bit strange. Hold on a second. Continuing from the original message, my name is Miss Bickles. I have some advice. Are you looking on the right path with code based on if you want to pursue application devving or game devving? And this section of tips for writing clean code. Thank you very much for the follow. Key new step. Good new step. Hi. I feel like I missed. Welcome, welcome to this slightly chaotic beginning of a stream. I'm very sorry. It's always how they are, though. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. Okay, and... Okay, yes, I did miss that. Right, I got sidetracked by Freb's... <coughs> Book of Code. This is what you're writing, New Joker. Book of Code for newbies to pick up and learn using Godot. Oh my, I actually could maybe do with that. <laughs> oh, the book is on GD script. Okay. I'm not planning on learning that. And then let me know that it's actually possible to use C and C++ with Godot. So, with extensions. So I might... <laughs> Yeah, I might. I might hiccup. I hiccup very frequently. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna kind of be interested in doing that. And then said she wants to sort of be able to use Godot's like for for like managing drawing and stuff and assets and stuff. While still being able to use C and C plus plus and yeah. I feel like we think very much in the same way. She and, and me when it comes to programming stuff, so yeah. I'd maybe like to try to do that as well. I'm very much enjoying my recent C and C plus plus streams. So yeah. Maybe. Maybe sometime soon I'll actually give Godot a try. All oh, the cool kids are doing it! And I updated that one to be ready for release with 4.0. Also started for an hour ago to rewrite and translate for C Sharp. For people that want me to learn and use that instead. Okay, nice! Very interesting. Also, yes, Shivi. So many cheeses. <sighs> I tried to tell myself that people do it out of love. But there is a head pad redeem they could be doing instead. <gasps> okay. One day I'm gonna fix that X yeah. You know what? If you keep on doing that, it's gonna make me want to do a Unity stream, so yeah. Just just so that I can fix that. <laughs> I was trying to see if I get the extension to Wagon Godot, but I'm too in my Unity hold to leave. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Alright, I need to actually finish one train of thought quickly. When cheese is thrown in my face, the cheese voice lines are kindly donated by kind viewers. And some of them are even from people who 
do not view my streams, but they're just friends who uh, were happy to donate his hand. And a few of them are TTS as well. One of them's mine. Is it one or is it two? I can't remember. I think it's just one. And yeah, anybody, if, if you'd like, you, you too can donate to the most important database of our time, the Cheese Sound database. I just whacked my fingers on this damn bottle. Damn, this, this bottle is injuring my fingers when I'm not even trying to drink from it. Amazing. Yeah, if, if you want to, then, I don't know, just send, send me a DM with like a recording on Discord or something, I don't know. <laughs> or Twitter. Or like a Twitch whisper or something. Or... Yeah, there are multiple ways to contact me. Um... If you're going to record yourself saying that, by the way, all I ask is that you leave a couple of seconds of silence before and after. It makes it easier for me to, like, do any cleanup if that's necessary. And yeah, you too could record yourself saying cheese. Or a similar word uh, from your language and stuff. Anyway. A whole swarm? Oh, a whole swarm of rooms, yeah. YouTube viewers want me to teach them C++. Oh, really? Interesting. So maybe a C++ book version in the future, so many pages. Hell yeah! Also, bye bye to Hex! Rewriting a version for C Sharp 2 in their message. Yes, I got to that eventually, sorry. Okay, right, I think I've caught up. I think I've caught up! Getting rid of all the fun things? No, 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 Vroom will still be a thing, it just won't repeat many times. Right now, the Vroom is repeating in the same way as... Jeez. In the same way as... Gasseri. The claps. These claps. Oi, jeez. Th those claps that you could just barely hear. <laughs> That's fun. Is it though? Is it? Look, I can't just... I, I want my stream to be not super scuffed. Oh my god. Ah, my head. Also my ears. Thank you very much for the bits, Mokotek. And I'm not sure if I said thank you for the bits, but thank you for the bits, Exia, as well. Okay, so I'm happy waffling on for like half an hour. Oh, player! Hello, hello, hi, welcome! What is this emote? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, it goes on for so long. Compromise. Bring back the funny cheese and we'll accept the one room. Okay, I, I have made it so that that works as, you know, a toggleable thing. I just need to turn it into a redeem, okay. I'll, I'll probably do that, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Alright, I think it's about time that I fly on into the game. Yeah, that that is an amazing animation, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I've gotta say. Okay, this music is a little bit too hype. Oh, it's okay, it's coming towards the end anyway. You know, how many seconds of this have we got left? One minute and two seconds, that, that's not seconds. Compromise, oh, I just read that. <laughs> okay, I think it's time that we begin Iron Lung. I'm just gonna fly on over to the game, which is wonderful and, and uh, non-existent right now. I have to switch over for a second and then back so that, you, so that OBS realizes it exists. There it is. Okay, nice. Now the music's finishing. And we can move on over to this. Holy crap. What is this volume? Oh, it should be okay. I mean, it's, it is on the loud side. But I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it actually seems okay without the music. I kind of want to be, like, engrossed in the, in the sound as well. Like in the game, so I kind of want the volume up a bit. I'm sorry if it's too loud for you. Wait a minute. Oh no, if it's too loud for you, I'll turn it down. But it sounds like liquid. Can we pop it? Like that. What is this game? Well, I'm about to begin a brand new game, and we're going to see the intro so we can learn together. Nice. I'm just kidding. I I already know the rough idea, but. Is this a spooper game? Yes! Yes it is! Me, me, huh? about this. Chris! Hello! Hi! Welcome! Thank you for the raids! Oh, what perfect timing as well! I've just finally switched over to the game, so we're about to begin. You've skipped all the waffle at the beginning. Welcome raiders! Hello! Hi! Welcome Chris! Hi Anaris! Hi Reset Champion! Reset Champion, I like that name. It's uh, Old Potato? Oh my god, I like that name even more. No offense, Risa Jim. Free Daker? Wait, 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 wait. Free Raid. I'm here twice. <laughs> Welcome, thank you very much for the raid. Holy crap. You know what? Oh, there's a sudden lack of music when I'm. 
We just heard that music. I'm gonna do a shout out. Unfortunately, that means I need to be off the game to be able to type, and that stops the sound. And yeah, yeah, look at this cutie, look at the cute. One sec, one sec, one sec. I'm gonna get this to work, I swear to god. Come on, come on. Yeah, no, almost, almost, almost. Yes, there you go, there you go. Head pats, there you go. Monster Hunter Rise. Yes! I was in there for a moment earlier on. Sorry, I couldn't stay for very long. <gasps> ah, I don't know what you're <laughs> I couldn't even hear what you said. Wow, well, already half of you, you said death. Yes. Holy crap, and thank cheese. you very much for the resub. Cheese, cheese, cheese. cheese. You, you threw cheese just to cover up your own message. Oh my god. But yeah, welcome. Hello, everyone. Have, have you had fun on the Oh my god, yes. one sec. I'm half asleep and I cannot speak. That's my excuse. I can't speak even when I am fully awake, though, so whatever. But don't tell anyone. Thank you very much for the follow, Anaris. <coughs> my voice is also not fully awake yet. Holy crap. Um, but yes, Happy, it is, uh, it is, uh, it is a spoopy game. It's, um, maybe not the best thing for you to watch if you're in bed now. Ah, thank you very much as well, Reset. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome. I'm a strange cat. I usually do more nerdy programming stuff. But right now my brain's not awake enough to do it, so I thought, hey, let's try a game that I saw recently. Looks interesting. Um, might end up regretting playing it while half asleep. But anyway. But yeah. Yes. I love cat. Ah! Hell yeah! Thank you! I'm trying to do double thumbs up so it actually makes my expression change, but... It's, uh... Yeah. I'm at the mercy of the Leap Motion's hand tracking, which is... Uh, leaves some to be desired. I have a cat on the lap right now. Oh, nice! Oh, that sounds very relaxing. I wouldn't be able to have a cat on my lap. It's like... My desk is... My, my legs are so close to my desk. Should be squashed. <laughs> no squashing the cat. You gotta squish that cat. All right, we like cats here. Thank you very much. Okay, sorry. I forgot this is meant to be spoopy. Let, let's get back into the, the spoopy world. Yes, um, I'm gonna be trying the- Ah, thank you for the pets. I'm gonna move up slightly and back slightly. I'm sorry about how loud my bell is. Okay, this might be slightly on the loud side. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll bump it down just a, just a bit. Wait, when's it? After clicking apply, clearly. Make a difference? Yes. Whoa, did you hear that? Listen. The volume change has a tiny ramp on it to avoid a sharp click when it updates. I appreciate these small details, even though it's probably just done by the game engine. By the way, speaking of game engine, I had an issue capturing this on OBS, this game, through game capture. Um, Eventually I got it to work, and I'm not quite sure what I did the first time it didn't work. And then window capture didn't work, either. And then game capture did work, so I, I don't know. Anyway, I think we should probably begin. Time to put feet up, and that means we're about to become a cat bed. <laughs> oh, nice. Enjoy your cat. But cats are evil, they eat stuff off the table. Hey, I don't. I don't. My hand tracking is, is fading, so it looks like I really don't. I love fads. <laughs> Cats, not fads. But I can't have them anymore. Don't need the GF to get scratched in the face. Oh god, what? Allergies. Ah, that sucks. Do love fatty foods, so. Okay, same. Should head to bed to avoid going to Gremlin, but I didn't hope you... Oh, to... I thought you meant to avoid going to, comma, Gremlin, calling me a Gremlin. But I hope you have a great rest of the stream. Alright, no worries. Sleep well, sleep well. Thank you very much for the raid. I hope you had a nice stream. She taps me on the arm and asks. She doesn't take... Aww. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm sorry, people. You're stuck with me now. Uh, you're, um, you're not, actually. You, you're perfectly free to disappear as well. But hey, let's learn about why we're looking at red... Uh, you know, like... Doom area looking blood. Alright, here we go. Decades ago, 
every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture, with supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling. Survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. <laughs> what is so funny about that? I didn't get it. One such moon holds a strange anomaly. An ocean of blood. You are a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you'll be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training. Wait, there was no time? I will. Wait, I will be welded inside. There was no time for... Oh, I see what it means. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's he wooing? Was not designed for this depth? Okay, that makes sense. If successful, you earn your freedom. Press any key to continue. I'm literally pressing keys, but it's doing nothing. Hello? Beginning at descent. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything uh, like that. Uh, am I meant to be able to move or move the view at all or anything? Uh... Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Is, is this... Am I meant to be able to do something? Closing port hole shielding. Um... We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so repeat thing and be careful. You're on your own. Oh, now I can move. Okay, okay, okay. That, that that was confusing for a moment. Okay, give me a sec. I do not want to quit. I want to go to the settings. Is that not allowed? Can I go to the settings? Okay, I'll quit the game then, I guess. Because, uh... I... thought there was a subtitle option, but apparently there's not... My tennis down slightly again as well. This was kind of low originally. Well, I can't continue. Okay, new game. Amazing. Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who are on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. The settings, you had your chance, I guess so. Okay, there we are. Hi, Devil, how are you doing? 70 FOV, I can't on my screen. Ah, I'm Begin sorry. I was just trying to make it as quiet a rapture as possible. Depth in roughly 40 seconds. Hi, Manny! Hi, hi, hi! I'm sorry, I promise I'm gonna be less obnoxious. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. This time you get to hear it without me tapping it. Approaching out. maximum depth. Uh, the whole feeling is that it's still holding strong. Yep. The ceiling's currently holding Close strong. With that light bulb up there. Less obnoxious, but then you'd be less you. It's true. You're on your own. Alright, here we are. Yeah man, this 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 higher in FOV is maybe not necessary when I'm in a tiny little confined space. Wait, no, an F high FOB would be more useful. Also, by the way, I'm not sure if you can see stuff back here, but I cannot see anything on this monitor, and there's no brightness options, so... Ah, if I look over to my OBS monitor, I'm really clear, I can actually see more. The brightness is as high as it goes on. Oh, no, it's not! Whoops! Okay, there we go. Never mind, brightness wasn't all the way up. There we go, now I can see. So, yeah. I'm, I'm in a tiny submarine that was not designed to go down to such depths, and I can't see out. And all I have is head pads from f -Pool. Hi, f -Pool. Welcome, welcome. I need to make some breakfast. Yes, enjoy your, enjoy your breakfast. Okay. Oh my god, it's dripping as well. Cheddar! Why, jeez! Uh, why cheese research? This view reminded me a bit of the submarine mission in I Expect You to Die. Interesting. 
I wonder if it's expired. In inspired by that, not expired. The opposite of exp. At least you have cheese now. You oh, okay? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> this is a local database. Be sure to update before each descent. Update. Unknown query. Hello. Directory. You can't do dashes. Then. Help! Why am I being sprayed? There was like a camera thing somewhere as well. Is this it? This? Cheese. Cheese. Maybe it's a unique system? What, what was the meme one? RM. Dash R. So I don't know what it was. I thought there's a way you could like look, take a photo of stuff outside as well, but perhaps I should actually do the breathing first. Two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration. Two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration. <laughs> an exploration of Moon 85 for the first time since the Quiet Rapture, leading to the discovery of a fourth blood ocean. A trench beneath the ocean's surface has several points of interest. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the SM13's forward camera. Oh, it's forward! I was looking to my side. Photos must be taken within two units. Photos must be taken within two units of the specified position and 10 degrees of the specified angle. Ah, okay, so I've got to go to the exactly where they want. Okay, okay, and take photos. You can also use the camera to help with navigation. Only photos taken at specified points of interest will be saved. Since you can't navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. The proximity indicators next to the subcontrols will trigger if you're getting close to an obstacle. Good luck. <gasps> Whoa, wait. Okay, I feel like I probably shouldn't be wasting that. I also feel like it's probably not limited. Can you search Iron Lung for a query? Maybe. <laughs> echo! Echo! Yeah, I don't have a delay echo readily set up. Um, but I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Okay, can I search for a query? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Query. What are queries? Select lung from body. No. Alright, let's have a look. Map. Okay, where am I? X one eight two Y one one six. X one eight two Y one one six. Oh god, this involves a memory of me remembering numbers before pressing tab. X one eight two. So 150, 175, like right around here. And Y one one six. Shit, it doesn't remember my mouse position when I tab off. Watch, I put my mouse down here. Tab, tab. Now suddenly my mouse is in the middle of the screen. God damn it. Okay. 182116. 182116. Okay, so the dark area is the water then, and that's where I am. Either that or I'm <laughs> ashore for some reason. Okay, interesting. Oh god, two numbers! I know, right? Queries are just names, no syntax. Names? Uh, New Joker 6. Okay, let's do this. That would be amazing if it somehow was uh, connected to Twitch and, and did something. Kind of memorize nine? 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 <sighs> okay, so our controls are just to rotate. And to move forwards and backwards. Alright, plot twist. I was a secret dev and I'm judging you. Alright, <laughs> oh god. Alright, so we want to head. I assume zero degrees is up, right? I assume this is north. So... Um... Alright, let's move along. So these, all these black things are the points of interest, right? Uh, alright. Hover mouse over nodes for more information. Okay, that's... Not... Well, I guess it is kind of useful, actually. Oh yeah, right, because you need to point 33 degrees to take the photo. Okay, okay, okay. You need to remember at least eight 
Especially on the road when you have the memory have to memorize people's license to play it out of spite. <laughs> nice. Um there there's seven there's seven letters and numbers over here, man. I think I think they're always seven? Well there's something less than seven. I think they decrease in the number of letters and numbers based on how rich the person is. That's why they do it, right? How accurate can we get? Oh my god, can you actually get precise to the hundredth of a degree? <laughs> no. Um, if you go to a certain area here, we have license plates that are shaped like polar bears? What? Custom plates, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, let's do it. So I want to head upwards until I'm like around 200... Uh, yeah. I should not have turned the volume down. Imagine being able to change settings when you're playing, right? Fuck's sake. You know what? I'm going to turn up my master volume slightly more. Unfortunately, it's going to make my bell more obnoxious, my notifications louder, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go. Man, that X is like rock solid right now. Also, I'm really curious about where the camera is. From watching someone else play, I know it's somewhere around here. But I guess it's just not usable yet. I guess you have to get close and it activates when you get close. Nice that we have full oxygen and depth is low. But depth was going down before. Right? Does that mean when depth is low, I'm actually at a very big depth? I'm confused. This game uncomfy. Yeah! I'm dying. Stop it! Stop dying. Stop dying, Fox. But hello. Hi. Hi, Fox. Other Fox. <laughs> Just become happy. Like happy. Just become the happy Fox version 2.0. This time it's personal. Okay, we want to move over to 200. 182 should be safe still. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, we do overshoot a bit. Okay, so we should be like right around here now, right? So we're gonna turn 90 degrees. I love these sounds, I'm gonna be honest. Um, that should be okay. Ah! <gasps> Gloomy! Welcome! Thank you very much for the follow. Hi. Welcome. I learned I have COVID this morning. Ah. Well. I I really hope it doesn't stick around for too long. But you know what? I'm gonna give you some free pads. In the hope that it helps. Wait, is this gonna work? It's not it's not it, it looks a bit strange, but I I'm trying my best. It's the thought that counts, right? I'm sorry to hear it though, folks. I really hope you feel better soon. Okay, so if I keep my X at no my Y at like two hundred and I move along to 300? Let's do that. Wait, is it safe to overshoot 200? Yes. Oh my god! Okay, that's gonna make me jump, holy crap. Where was I going? 300. Alright, so far so good. We're just hearing weird noises in an ocean. Oh god! I'm getting close to something on my right, I guess. Y201, X220, Y201... Why am I reading it backwards? X220! Y201... Okay, oh, okay, alright, this gives warning quite far in advance. So yeah, this wall I'm getting close to, alright. Imagine diving bottom of the ocean and then someone knocks on your sub door. I'd say, uh... Hi? I guess you've been waiting for a lift for a while. Wait, why are we getting closer and closer? Oh yeah, it is sloping slightly, I guess? Y201... Well, we're moving away from it. Whew. 
Oof, okay, that, that's actually a little bit nerve-wracking, holy crap. <laughs> this game reminds me of another one I saw my friends play, but it had more levers and more green. Interesting. I'm just going to turn the volume up slightly more. Um, this is... I'm, I'm going to regret this the second someone digs me. Definitely understand what's going on. Well, all we're doing is, like... We haven't been told a whole lot at the moment, basically. We've been told this. Uh... Well, there was something at the beginning of as well about people migrating to different planets, and then some of you didn't make it, so you stuck around. And now you're on a planet that's like... You know, apparently devoid of life, but not really, because there's clearly the sounds of things in this blood ocean, and I'm in like a completely sealed up metal submarine that wasn't designed to be going this deep. And so the windows had to be boarded up, and cheese had to be... Cheese? Yep. And, and now our only way of navigation and navigating is by looking at these coordinates, and this angle, and this map. That's it. Yum cheese, yes. <laughs> I don't know what game you're referring to though, Fox, actually. Right, so we want to get to roughly 300. Let me see how much I overshoot. I'm going to let go and it reaches 290. Okay, we overshoot by about 3. Okay, so we're currently at 300, 202, right around here. What did it say you have to be within how close did it say you have to be? Within two units and 10 degrees. Two units? Two? What the fuck? That's super close. Okay, this is where it starts to get hard, I guess, because I could easily crash. For some of these, like, you know, the ones that I really... Like this one. How the hell do you do this without crashing? What the hell? Look at that! I'm guessing there's like a tiny little tunnel in there. But holy crap. Wow, you're really going to have to rely on the proximity sensors there. Jeez, how are you going to get there? Okay, so 322186. 322186. So I want to be like... Facing down and right a bit. 322186. <gasps> Happy! Thank you very much for the hydration. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not sure why people um <laughs> but mom fox. Thanks for the hydration. Um I I'm not I can't remember why people were evacuating, but hey, we're not one of them anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Uh, or is it that we, I was sent to this place, I can't remember. Into the discovery of a full supply ocean. Uh, I honestly can't remember. Um, okay, let's do it. Ah, posture check as well, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the pats, even though your hand was clipping through my head a bit. Thank you, Mokatek. Wait, BS Cal, you're getting comfy? I think you're about to get a, a, a rude awakening soon. I mean, uh, a scary awakening, not a rude awakening. So it's something completely different. Okay, what was it again? <laughs> uh, 320? 322, 186. 186, so we need to... Good. Okay, so this, the middle of this is 186. And I'm currently at 188, so I must be very, very close to a wall right now. 322. Okay, let's head Okay, within two units, right? So I'm close enough on the x-axis. And... 186, was it? Yeah. Alright, final. Let's turn back a bit. Okay. That's close enough. And the angle needs to be right as well. But <gasps> Holy crap! Thank you very much for the sub, Gloomy! Welcome, welcome! Hi! Damn! Cheese. Cheese! Welcome! 
sexy music. Look, I'm trying. Sorry, my fox walked on my keyboard. <laughs> Understandable. Thanks, Happy. Thanks. Thanks for walking on the keyboard. Cheap. Oh, fox finale. I'm not quite sure which of you is Gloomy's fox. Uh. Why, why am I having cheese turning me? Stop, stop this. Exclamation mark. Stop this. You too, Kanami. I see you. 33 degrees. 33. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Was this within 10 degrees, did it say? Yeah. So I guess they're wanting me to, like, get into this position and then turn around and look. Yeah, look at look in this direction. Okay, so I am doing it now. So wait, how do I take the footer? Cannot see shit right now. <laughs> uh, how does one take a photo? Ah, Gaseraki. Okay, I mean, I mean, there it is. Sounds like it was being printed, but this is glowing. Is this like glow in the dark ink? All right, so it looks like we have a bunch of fingers with fingernails on them. Not unsettling at all. Good to know. So this button is what actually prints. Nice. Can you swim if the submarine breaks down? Teeth? Oh, it could be teeth. Bones? I think that's bones. I was imagining want to see like crystals, but yeah, it's probably bones. Got Ali finally. Ah, yes! Ali's there as well. Also, hi, Nifko! Or Nif... Nifkyu... Nif... Nifjo... Nifju... Ju... Jo... Go... Yee... I'm sorry. I'm so bad at pronouncing names. And this is something simple like... Fox. I'm not calling you both simple. That's... 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 Uh... Can you... G swim if the submarine breaks down? Uh... I mean... If a giant metal container can't take the depth, I'm pretty sure... A cat can't. Sorry, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not sure I'd stand much of a chance out there. Also, hi, David. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Um, let me just nudge the camera very slightly to one side. I'm curious if this actually updates. Is that the identical image? Identical to the image we saw before? Alright, let's see if I can get this into the center of the camera. I'm just curious. If it's like the exact same image when you're close to a place. Oh! Interesting! It actually seems to have an idea of a world and a camera in it, so that as you rotate. Ah! Interesting! Alright, this seems to actually have a world and it's not just a, a few pre made images. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that. There's an actual 3D map you're traveling. Nice. That's very nice. Wait, how close can I get to this without crashing? Do I have proximity sensor on the front of this, or is it only the sides? I guess we'll find out soon. Uh. Uh. I just try to get a bit closer to the fingers, and, and someone doesn't like it. Ooh. That's interesting. We can't angle it up or down. I got a bad feeling about this. Me too. Indestructible cat, no. Oh, hi, hi, Tuna as well. Can of tuna. That's funny. I'm basically a can of cat right now. I just want to see how close I can get. Oh my god. How much ink does this printer have? Ooh. Looks like this one's actually in front of this one. I really hope there's a proximity sensor on the front. Oh my god. Uh, maybe there's not. That's pretty close. I wonder if I can clip into it. I'm sorry. As, as, as someone who... Messes around on Unity, this, this is curious to me. Look, I doubt this is made in Unity, though. Maybe it is. 
It was unusually hard to capture on OBS, that's why I think it probably wasn't made in Unity. The lighting effect, like the vignettes kind of... Yeah, that's so good. Do you reckon it's actually got like a like a post-processing effect where it, you know, uh, adjusts the brightness based on how brightly your light is touching it? So, so basically, if your light is really close, hitting an object really close, the rest of the world sort of gets cast into darkness because, you know, the camera has to adjust. In the same way as if I were to bring something really bright up under the screen. Uh, my thing, like my stream setup, adjusts a bit and makes it darker to avoid flash banging you. Okay, surely I'm inside of that, right? Oh my god! Hey, I think I clipped inside it. I want to see the triangular edge of a polygon in order to. Before I'm going to be satisfied. And before I just somehow made it disappear. Uh, Where'd everything go? Oh, that is actually the light from my thing starting to hit it lower down, I think. But it's just, I'm so close that the light is probably below and the camera is higher up. Okay, interesting. Alright, interesting. Interesting. Alright. I feel like I've been pushing my luck too far. Let, let's, uh, let's actually get on with the, the rest of it. Somehow I haven't crashed yet. Falls out of the map. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh my god. If you could clip through the map in this game. I like, you know, somehow downward. Even though that doesn't seem to be gravity. That'd be funny. But I have a strange sense of humor, so, okay. So heading anywhere close to right is really dangerous right now, so I kind of want to head left a bit. Maybe get up to 300, 200? And then it should be plain sailing. Pun not intended. Up until, like, this area. I reckon we can do that. Alright, let's head to 300, 200. So, somewhere like... Where am I? Somewhere around here, right? So... Back quite a bit. There, maybe. 300, 200? Ah, oh, thank you for the advance! We're actually at 314 right now. Let's move left once a bit further. Alright, that's close enough. Alright! 45 degrees to the top right, let's go! Thank you, Alexia. Oh, isn't that a sudden jump from left to right speaker? Or right to left? Two, three, four, five! And we're off! <laughs> okay, where do you actually need to stop? Uh, 350, 250. I want to see a crash, not gonna lie. Well, that's probably gonna happen, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Saving progress! Nice. I assume it saved the photo. Okay, I doubt it was these things. Wait, are these gonna are these moving? Okay, they're not moving. Uh, they're, they're not like wiggly tentacles. Or maybe they're just tentacles and they're sleeping. Does it have some HP? Have you bumped into anything yet? Uh, there's O2 and there's depth. I haven't seen HP. Also, I just realized, if there is something nearby, I probably won't see it until I'm really close. Because it wants me to be within two units, right? When I'm taking a photo, so... 
So you don't, you have no idea what there is until you get really close. And I guess that kind of makes sense if you're actually in like a red ocean, right? You're probably not going to be able to see very far. Okay, 350 by 250. So I want to move over to about 375? Yeah, 378. 378 to 263. 378 to 263. So I want to become a little more like this. 378 to 263. 378 Okay, that's close enough. Oh wow, 377.92! And then the degrees were 50 degrees. Alright, snap a photo. Let's see what they wanted to look at. Was it the tentacles after all? Alright, some... Okay, now that really looks like some sharp teeth to me. Well... Ugh. Or perhaps it's like the underneath of like some weird spider crab thing that's like... dead, being covered up and just the legs are sticking out. That's... horrible, let's move on! Does it have some HP? Have you bumped into it? Yeah, I haven't bumped into anything just yet. Wait, 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 wait. That became a check mark, but this one didn't? What? Okay, let me head back. What the hell? What did I do wrong on the other one? You whiffed the first one? Yeah, apparently so. You should run into something. Should I? I th I'm feeling I'm gonna do it sooner or later. Probably when I get to this part. Uh, okay, move along. I'm just eyeballing it by angle this time, so... It's probably gonna come back to haunt me. Okay, where am I right now? Three, five, six, two, four, one. Three, five, six. What? Oh, wait. Wait, what? Three, five, six, two, four, one. Oh, there. Okay. Three, five, six, two, four, one. I thought I was way further down here. Okay, this is already becoming really disorientating. <clears throat> what was bottom left in degrees again? So you've got like 90, 180, 270. So between 270 and 180. 9012. So 225. Oh, 225 would be 45 degrees down to the bottom left. Huh. What is this, a math exam? Yeah, apparently so. Okay, moving on. For science? For science? Ah. I could just not look where I'm going for a while and then maybe crash. Sure, I haven't looked for a while. Theory. I, 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 I don't want to crash. Cover her eyes with cheese so she crashes. No. Okay, I'm quite close to thing. 300, 185. 300, 185. Yeah, we're getting kind of close. I want to head to the right then. 185 is perfectly. It did say within two units, right? Two units and ten degrees. <coughs> okay, let's head right. Wait, it's quick to go this way. Hi, Goop! Hello, hello! Hi, 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 hi! How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Okay, I'm heading to the right. I need to be. Wait, I just, <laughs> just press Alt tab instead of single tab. 322186. No, you don't. You're not gonna crash. We've been through this. Three, two, two. <laughs> One, eight, six. Thank you for the bats. Wait. Oh yeah, right. Y is upwards. Ugh. As long as it's not Alt F4, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the bats, Gib. Okay, and it wanted... Wait, I'm too far off now. I keep forgetting the X. I keep forgetting which way makes it go up. Okay, surely that's close enough this time, right? 
and the angle. Oh my god, I all tabs again. Instead of just single tab. 33. What did I do the first time? I feel like I didn't do 33, that's for sure. Okay, let's see what we actually should have taken the foot off. Wait, wait a minute. Is it because I took silly photos afterwards? Is it because I like rotated around? And got or, or got really close, it'll be safer to just rotate around and test. Does does the tick disappear then? No, it doesn't. Huh, apparently I never took a good photo of it. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's head back. So we wanna to head towards would it be safe to go straight from there to there? I feel like I might crash. Let's just head up for a while. At least now you get ticks. You know you get ticks. Yes, yes, I'm glad. I'm glad I realized that, you know, not super late. <laughs> okay, so like I'm roughly here. Ah, oh, it doesn't tell you the coordinate when you mouse over it anymore. That'd be useful if it did. So I'm roughly there. Let's move upwards until... 224. Five question mark occurring on the side of left. What a pleasant ride in a submarine. How is how how are people doing? Okay, two twenty five, and we can head up to there, I guess would be a safe place. Three seven five two seven five from there. Just straight 45 degrees. Oh, shit, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. You're out there. You're calling for a mate because you wanna. Wait, this is not too safe. Apparently, this game has secret lore. Just press Alt F4 to read. <laughs> Thanks. Oh no, I accidentally Alt tabbed to OBS and then pressed Alt F4. Uh. I'm checking. Three seven five two seven five, right? Doc, hi, hi. <laughs> three seven five two seven five. Three seven five two seven five. Or close enough trademark. Oh god, I don't like how far off I'm getting- Oh wait, why am I- I'm being really, really, really smooth-brained right now. Wait, really? Am I that close to a wall? Okay, that's also really useful to know. It does tell me when I'm heading towards something in front of me as well. I thought it was only left and right at first. Ellen! Hi! Three seven three two seven three. Oh, on that three seven three two seven three. Really? Well, like, I guess, I guess. Really? Um, I'm surprised it's giving like a proximity warning. Also, this little sound, like the <coughs> sound. It reminds me of like one of the jib sounds in Quake 2, in the in the part where the soldiers are being processed in the factory. Same little <coughs> noise. But yeah, how's you in then? I'm heading off to the left. Forty-five degrees, but oh no, right. Went to be a bit further than that. Okay, what is 45 degrees from 360? 5, 4, 3, 2, 315 it would be. I want to be a little less than that. Oh god, I'll tap it again. Um, I'm slowly waking up. How's you, Chini? Ah, <sighs> she hardly got any sleep at all. And missed the package. Hell yeah! I missed the package for myself. But then I was awake to receive a package for someone else, so... Good for them! Lucky for them. 
Ah, thank you for the pants. Um, okay. That's why I'm not doing programming stuff. My brain's not awake enough to do that right now. Okay, so heading in this direction. But yeah, I hope you got some nice sleep. Thank you for the pants. Alright, so somewhere around here, where I kind of want to be heading is like around 325. 300. I've got to be careful because it's kind of narrow. Are you doing this game half asleep? I don't know, it's easier than like... Is, is it is easier than coding? Wait, what did I say? 325? 300, right? Oh, there we are. Okay, that's close enough. Is that you making that noise? Can you stop and then... <gasps> Streaming! Hello! Hi! Welcome, welcome! Oh god, oh god. Uh, wait, wait, wait. X. Wait, hang on a second. Uh, okay. 321, 303, where are we? 321, 303. Oh, that's alright. We'll just head up like 45 degrees then for a while. Until we reach 275, 350. Let me just quickly put this in before I do your hydrate. Before I forget. Like roughly this direction. Thank you for the hydration. Mm. <sighs> Can the monster eat you? Um, maybe? I'm pretty sure, yes, actually, I'm pretty sure that something like that happened on Unmaster stream. I was watching her play this the other night, and I thought, damn, this looks kind of interesting. I'm suitably nerdy for me, right, because of navigating by coordinates. My, my left hand is just not tracking today. I wonder if the... The emotion is dirty, I don't think it is. Okay, 45 degrees, let's go. Until, where was it? 275, 350. Whoosh! Wait, what? That scared me for a moment, it sounded like it was getting faster. Oxygen notification. That fucking made me jump. Wait, wait, do I have a limited time to be able to do this? Am I going deeper or something? Uh. What do I do? Does this tell me something? It doesn't. Does this tell me something? Nope. Uh, alright. Guess I'm just gonna die soon. Shit, I didn't realize I had to be doing all this on a time limit. Shit. Alright, we gotta hurry up, huh? So we need to go up until... 275, 350. Alright, moving. Moving on. I didn't realize we were on a time limit here. Now it makes sense why they say it's one hour. Two, seven, five, three, fifty. I am close enough. I'm all tabbing again, goddammit. And the angle is two nine six. Close enough. Tree branches, nice. Wait, why is it not ticked? Oh, right, I'm stupid. Sorry, uh, that that was the position that I was moving towards for safety. The actual position for the photo is up here. Whoops. Okay, let's move up. Ah, uh, thank you for the pads. No, Hajin. Hello, hello, hi, hi. Oh my god, there's so many pads. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be killed by head pads by being distracted by head pads. <laughs> Cat dies happily in submarine. Ah. Cheeks. Okay, we're moving up until like Y four six. Y four six and X 
259. So we're going to get a little bit close to this edge here, but it should be alright. Okay. Was it 402 or 420? Died due to repeat a tiny head trauma? Nah. It'll be fine. Oh, so hi! Sicky. Charging the static electricity. Yeah, this is how the submarine operates. X259, so we actually want to head this way a bit now. Just barely above zero. Wait, where am I heading? 406. Oh god, I've gone past everything already. Shit. Whoops. Wait, I can walk backwards as well. I didn't need to <laughs> walk backwards. I can float backwards. 259. Didn't need to rotate. Am I close enough? Yes, I am. Angle... what was it? 406. Oh, wait, it's 406! Why am I thinking it's 402? I think it's because of 420. So why 402? I'm doing it again! I could've gone backwards! God damn it! I wonder what speedruns for this game are. I bet it involves a lot of driving backwards. And 259. Okay, that's actually really close. Angle 296. Send panic? Uh, maybe. Was it? 296. That's just my bad memory, that's not panicking. Alright, close enough. She's just making sure that it's actually close enough. Ooh, this looks fun. Damn, they're not moving though! Take a close look at those identical plastic tube things. Okay, let's move on. We got a time limit. What the hell is this? Look, it's all fuzzy here. Is this like a is this ground? It's fuzzy here and that's ground. I'm gonna back up. I'm just gonna go. <sighs> yeah. Wait, no, because you've got to be able to go through this part, right? So so it's not necessarily that fuzziness is blocked, it might just be unknown. Uh, well this area looks kind of tight anyway, well this area is tight as well, so... Uh, you know what? Let's just go back where I came from. We're deep in a blood ocean, on a moon, in a submarine. Yeah! What could, what could go wrong? Wow, that was right on cue. Okay, I'm just gonna head roughly this direction until I nearly crash. Or until I get to like 325, 300. Might crash. Okay, fine. I'm get getting a little bit. the way it suddenly gets fast like that. Oh my god. I think it's like because it's on the border of being too close and not too close. It just repeats for a moment. I know I'm safe here. Okay, roughly 320, 300. 320, 300. Okay, we want to head right until we get to like roughly... Actually, we could go at an angle. To get to roughly three seven five, three two five. Okay, let's head a little bit left. Three twenty. Was it three twenty five? I can't flipping remember. I need a memory. Does anyone have a memory I can borrow? Three twenty five, three seventy. Wait, where am I? <laughs> three seventy five, three two five, three seven five, three two five. lost my brain. Ah, oh, no worries, no worries. I mean, it's lucky that you still have one. Nice, I missed that thing that left as well. I mean, it's lucky that you had one. Lucky that you had one. Sorry, lucky that you had one is what I'm trying to say. 
I swear to god I know what I'm talking about. Uh, Alright, so I'm at 376, 317. 376, 317. Okay, let's head right. Wow, oh my god, really? I've got to go all the way over there? Okay, fine. Okay, I'm roughly here. Or is this head right out into the open ocean, slightly to the right? Ah! Oh god, hi, Chaos! Why is that she's in my face, Chaos? So I want to head towards 550, 300. Or. Or just 550. Yeah, just 550. I don't really care about why. As long as I get through that narrow area. Alright, this is going to be a long distance. I'm sure nothing at all is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh. 398, 316. Uh, that's getting kind of close, huh? Fromage. Uh... Is that okay? Do I need to do something? Is it a... Okay, well, we're just living with this now, I guess. Okay, nice, we're past it. It's probably fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. The map has coordinates on it? Yes! At the bottom uh, at the bottom is X and on the left is the Y coordinates. Whoops. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's fun. The varying definitions are fun. Alright, I'm sure nothing will go wrong during this long expanse of particularly dark sea. Okay, this, this worries me. Is this actually like dark, really deep sea in this area? Do you see that? This area is darker than the surrounding sea. <sighs> is stuff gonna come up? and do stuff to us? I'm sh I got a bad feeling about this. I got this. a bad feeling about this as well. Thank you for the pad stuff, Fabosa. Hi, Fabosa. Okay, it starts to get bad around 525. Or 500, actually, is where it starts. Oh, good. I'm alright, thanks, Fabosa. Just... Well, but also a little bit nervous. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck was that? There should be nothing in this area. Okay, there's definitely something around. Would I see it if I look left? Maybe we shouldn't be hanging around this area, huh? Okay, whatever. Fuck it. Let's just move. Where do I need to go? I'm in a wide open area now, so I can head straight towards the target. I need... so I'm at 547313. Which is roughly where I was trying to head anyway. And I want 560277. I want to see some face in that photo at some point. Well... You, you might... you might just get that. <laughs> what was it again? 560277. And the angle is 43. Wait, no, this way. Okay. Nice. Uh, a chode. Alright, let's head towards this area. So it's. Oh shit. Uh, 600. 200. 600, 200. Wow, finally, an easy one to remember. Almost a face? I guess so. 600, 200. How is it almost a face? I don't get it. Tunnel vision? Wait, what? Did I did I miss did I did I miss something scary? It's just... Uh whoever sp said something about I missed a scare? Oh sorry. 
Oh, don't worry, the, the, the knocking scared me. Okay. 6, 12, by 1, 9, 7, 6, 13. Whoever mentioned earlier about something knocking on the submarine. Well, now you've got it. Hope you're happy. Okay, an angle of 55. Now I realise there's a time limit. I kind of want to do it a bit quicker. <laughs> Boop! Invite them in for some cheese? Maybe. What is that? Is that like an octopus on the left? No. Well, if it is, it's not moving. Skeleton? I guess so, let's look left. Even though we don't have much time. Huh. Bones! Alright, let's head... Left... No, right. <laughs> I mean rotate. No, I actually want to rotate right as well. Um... So we're here, we want to go there, so like roughly 22 degrees, I guess? So like, somewhere on there? And, oh I don't like this. Oh look how narrow this is also, yeah! Uncle Steve. <laughs> Alright, so we wanna, let's head towards roughly 750. Or 760. Yeah, bitch! I mean 750 by 260. Also, yeah! 760, no, 750, no, 7, yeah, 750, 260, right? 750, 260, 750, 260. This is confusing to me, these numbers. You know what, maybe if I just think of it in terms of two digits, it might be easier. 7526, 7526. I don't really care about the exact one at this moment. The units column. 7526. That's easy for me to remember. A few moments later. A few moments later, I'm gonna be crashing or eaten or something. Do I sense greatness here? Greatness? Hi, Electron. I don't think so. No stopping, no stopping, no stopping. Please, please. There you go. Alright, something's to my left, and it's the wall. So, I think I'm going to have to rely on the proximity sensors here, because this is so narrow. Let's just head right and hope that we don't crash. Once it opens up, hopefully the proximity sensors stop going at me. But hi, hi, Electron. Great programmer, Yuke, and great game here. Ah, oh, I see. I mean,. I like the game, I'm not sure about this. the first one though. Why does it look like I'm heading straight towards it? Why does it look like I'm heading straight towards it? Oh god, oh, okay, so the tunnel's- wait, the tunnel's there? Wait, why does it look like it's to my left and right? From that angle. Wait, where am I? Seven six three two six one. Seven six three. This is a nice polyrhythm. Two six one. Is this map just like a bit inaccurate around here or something? Why am I heading down and right though? Seven six three two. Six. I think I'm in the wrong place. I'm here. Oh, am I heading into this little crevice here? I think I might be heading into that little crevice. I think I'm heading in the wrong direction. Let's back up a bit. Let's not do this. Ah, there we go. There we go. That's the area that I'm trying to see. Much more in this direction. Okay. Okay. Now it makes sense. 
I was heading into a little crevice before, but then. Oh shit. Wow, I got close. <laughs> oh god! Unironically, ooh, good. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, that's this area here now, right? So I need to head left. And we should be in a safe area then. Okay, nice. All right, so we are at eight oh four two eight one. Eight oh four two eight one. All right, right around here. Okay, we can head roughly right until 8.50, let's see. We're in a little secluded area here. Hopefully there won't be any monsters here, right? Making this their home. If they are, they can't be too big, right? Right? Because they won't be able to fit through that little narrow passageway. Right? Right? Unless they're just waiting for cats like me to wander in to eat. Bad feeling about this. Me too. All right, so we're roughly here. Let's head. Right, we're at three, two, six, three, two, six, three, two, six. Oh, we're all the way up. <gasps> Hello, <you are. laughs> How are you? Are? Hi, hi, gleaming Bleb. Gleaming Bleb. Sorry, gaming Bleb. And thank you very much for the resub. Holy crap! How's it been six months already? How's it been six months? But thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. I mean, it could just be the big monster can't get out. I invaded her mind, sorry. Oh yeah, it could be. Could be. Welcome, welcome. We're currently trapped in a submarine. Glad you could join me for this. You know, jo join all of us, in fact, for this. <sighs> Adventure. 864258 is where I'm wanting to head. This is a little way away, huh? Eight six four two five eight. Eight six four two five eight. Wait. Yeah, that's right. No. The fuck is that noise? Get me for a second, but yeah, of course, I'm just heading towards a wall. Okay. Take a pick. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Uh, direction 209. Boop! Trouble is, the sound just sounded like it was coming from like right above me, you know? I couldn't. couldn't really tell. 864258. 864. This is unclear as hell. Oh, but I got three things flashing at once. <laughs> the fuck is that? What am I looking at? It's like a bathtub or something. Or like a dead cockroach? I don't even know. Is that a couch? Yeah, I don't know. Looks like a coffin. Ooh. Foreshadowing, huh? Let's back up a bit. Beep, beep. Wait. Oops, that's the tab, not all tab. I mean, the other way around. Okay, let's head towards... 850... Structural beams. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Structural beams. Backing up. Finally remembering that I can do this. Eight fifty three hundred. So it's actually eight six eight. So it's closer to there. Okay. So we're gonna want to go left, very slightly down. Let's call it something like that. And head forwards until we're close to crashing, I guess, which will be around eight hundred. 
Yeah, I, sh I should always just go whenever I'm crashing. I mean, reversing, sorry, not whenever I'm crashing. Oh my god. Thank you for the hydration! Happy! This game actually is about microscopic vessel exploring nukes, cop. <laughs> What was that then? Just a random crumb on the floor? Okay, thanks for the hydration, Happy. My tummy is so unstable right now because of... Because of the lack of sleep. But I'm slightly worried every time I hydrate. That's why I'm now just having water and not fizzy water. But thank you for the posture check as well, Alexia. Whenever you're crashing, you should... What? Whenever you're crashing, you should... What? Oh, I should Wilhelm scream. Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> that's your job, that's your job. You're on the sound alerts. 800... Down to roughly... 7... Uh, I'll just follow the edge as I get close. I'll just follow the edge. There we go. make our way through the tunnel again. Oh god, here we go. Okay, straighten out a bit. The other way, I should say. Oh my god. We're just gonna have this leaking across our view for the entire time. I guess we are now. Alright, we're out. I should have made sure that was a green tick before I left. All right. Uh, I'm a little. Uh, what I'm most worried about is that I won't be able to do this in time because uh, this place is starting to break down, and oxygen is a thing that I've realized runs out. <gasps> oh my god! Uh, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, you are a good person. That's adorable. Thank you very much for the sub and congrats. You are a good person. Um, as you're doing that, the something hit my sub at the, at the at the exact same time, so it was a bit scary. That's why I was like, <gasps> uh, "Happy, please stop walking over my keyboard." <laughs> Hi, Ashish. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy, you can keep walking over if you want. I, I, I'm joking. Blindly drifting through deep ocean, only a piece of paper and some numbers to tell you where you are, and only getting brief, blurry glimpses of what's outside. Yeah, it's true. It's a, it's a fun game, though. It's a cool, like, really cool idea, is the thing. Okay, we're currently at 26. No, no, that's the degrees. 562, 353, 562, 3. Wait, what? 5. Wait, 562? We're at five six two. Oh there. Five six five? Fifty. Five seven five. Five six two. <laughs> Thank you very much for the following Mad Max. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you find my incoherent number ramblings. Enjoyable enough to follow. How am I already up here? What? Did I just get slammed by this monster in a really useful way? I was down here! Did it just slam me so hard that it, like, pushed me this way and then pushed me this way somehow? Did he, like, hit me with, like, a spin to get me to go around a corner? That's impressive. Also very useful. Saved me a bunch of time. Unfortunately, I just wasted it all in, um, trying to work out what happened. Um... Okay, 562353. Three. Yeah, you did me around a corner is the thing. The rare navigating bonk. <laughs> Five six two by three five three. Five six two three five three. Okay, we're just gonna head straight up, straight up until we reach five hundred. Straight, the thing I find the most difficult. Never gonna miss an opportunity to joke about it. I'm sorry. 
500, let's go. Whoosh. Oh, this is a long distance. Plenty of time to get bonked again. Straight into a wall. No, 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 no. Not if I'm careful. Not if I'm careful. So we're here right now, right? Already straight enough of it. Yep, there's a the tunnel. We're all good. Cleanly through that. Ah, thank you for the vents. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> I knew this is fun fact of the game. Did I just say fact of the game? The Yuke is cute. Ah, oh, that is a fact of the game. Well, it's in a strange opinion of the game. Straighten up a bit impossible. What the f Okay, well it's to my right, so no wonder I didn't see it. Uh fact of the game. <laughs> Okay, there's definitely stuff moving around then. There's no way I could have turned around to the right and got a photo in time, so I just ran to the camera. In the hope that maybe you would slide into my DMs? Slide to the right? Alright, a bit higher than 500 is what we want, maybe 525? Thought I saw tentacles? There's always weird shit floating around then, Lynn. Just like in your witch's pod, right? Can't pay too much attention to it. Alright, 520 by 623. Which is Cauldron. I forgot the name of it for a second. Wait, so we're coming at 583. We want. So 6252 is what we want. 6252. This looks like a good angle. Hell yeah. Actually, 623 by 520. Man, remembering just like the first two digits makes it so much easier. Life hack. Just don't be accurate. Okay. What do they want us to take a photo of? Let's find out. What the fuck is that? Okay, that looks like a spine. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Oof! This is a big boy. Correct, never ask what I put in the pot. Half the time I don't even know what's in there. <laughs> nice. I keep on accidentally clicking the button twice. No, it's wrong with me exactly. But a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to head left and really hope that we can navigate by sensors. I mean, we've already had practice here, right? So. Should be fine. Should be fine. Let's just head straight left. Until we reach about 400. Yeah, let's do it. And try and make this as straight as possible. Wish me luck. <laughs> Having just said, don't be accurate. Okay, 400. All right. So, how are people doing? Let's just uh, let's just have a little <sighs> nice relaxing drift through the ocean. Of blood. 400 we need to reach. A few moments later. <laughs> really just killing any ambience there. Dying still. Have you ever considered not dying? I'm joking, I'm sorry, I, I, I really hope it doesn't last long. What is- okay, this is interesting. What are these walls made of? Oh, it's like- what the hell? Like really tall, I guess, hard things? If we can't go through them. for another ocean horror experience, go for Subnautica. I absolutely love the music of Subnautica. So maybe. Maybe sometime. I do not like inventory management though, so... I've seen someone playing it, a friend, and uh... Seems like there's a lot of that involved. And crafting and stuff. 
good idea. <laughs> Thanks. I have the best ideas, Fox. Stalagmites, stalactites, yeah, stalagmites, stalagmites, stalagmites. Oxygen notification. Well, because stalagmites has a G, so they grow from the ground. And stalactites has a C, so it goes from the ceiling. I think that's right. Otherwise, it's stalagmites and stalagmites, but I think it's stalagmites. Tall hard things? Do you even straight? I'm trying! Okay, 400... 508. 400... 508. Okay, we're like, we're right around here. Alright, let's head up and... left? Like 20 degrees? 22 and a half degrees? So will that be like 3... Yeah, right around there. Right around there. And then just navigate by proximity sensors, I guess. Oxygen is down on uh, the almost dead position. I really hope that I don't have to redo all this. If I, if I, you know, I feel like I'm gonna have to redo everything if I die. So it's not gonna be fun. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Wait, Jeez. what? Why did they just stop suddenly? I thought that was a wall. Why did they stop? Okay, it was a wall. Why am I having cheese thrown at myself? See, man! Oh, what the hell are you doing here? But hi, welcome. <laughs> sorry, that was rude as fuck. I'm sorry. You're probably wondering what you're doing. What the fuck? Why does this thing keep getting close? What am I looking at? I don't... Why does this keep getting closer and further away? What the fuck is that? What am I looking at? Is that like a brick wall with like a... What, are, what is that? You're right, how dare I be here? What am I looking at? What is this? It's like some giant screw? Looks like coils. Yeah. Is it like some giant steel rope thing that I have to get through or something? But no, I see my nose. It's cool to see you here. To see... You here. I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Where am I heading towards again? Oh, we don't really know yet, I guess. Wait, where am I? 374 by 600. Yeah, but I hope you're doing alright, Simon. I think they're ruins. I guess it is, yeah. The spiral Empire. <laughs> Too painful to type. I'm gonna keep lurking, but at least I won't be bored while forced to be in bed. Oh, too painful to type. Oh my god. I hope you feel better soon. Fox, please. Why have 600? Oh, we're right around here. 374. Okay, alright. So I want to keep going until we reach like... I want to say 650 on the y-axis? I don't think I'm going to get all three of these photographed before I die. Due to lack of oxygen, but... Wait, what was the height I wanted to get to? 650. <laughs> Excuse me. It's clearly YBC Oak Superconducting Electromagnet. What? I do not know what this is a reference to. Or what this is. Uh, uh, I thought I heard f something crackling. I'm gonna try and mess around with the fire extinguisher earlier. Alright, it's all good, it's all good, it's all oh, fine. Oh, hell no! Uh, yeah, lights, right? I can see where the controls are. Okay, let's move on. 650 and 371. Here we are. Right, let's head in this direction, to the left. And slightly up, I guess. What the cat is this? Hi, fox! I uh, cat! Hi, cat! Sorry! I, never mind, I said there's a cat first. Well, cat, I am in an ocean of blood. <laughs> Not able to see much. Like, there are no windows. There's just this camera. You can click this button and it takes a photo and... What the hell? Are these, like, mushrooms? On the seafloor or something? And I have to navigate just by using these two coordinates and this map. So I'm at three, four, six, six, five, two. Three, four, six, six. Okay, I need to head much further. I'm trying to take a photo of each of these little things here, cat. I've done all these ones so far. I started down here. 
But I'm almost, almost out of oxygen, so I, I don't think I'm actually going to make it to all of them. And this submarine is gradually dying. You might have just seen me put out a fire, so... And occasionally there are spooky noises, and once I got slapped by some creature and it moved me, like, all the way from there to there, somehow. Like, like it just probably just bumped me with its tail and it's, it's so huge that it... Yeah. Pushed me. Effortlessly. Yeah, sorry I feel like slapping you, no worries, no worries, understandable. I'm gonna be honest. 263, 660, 263, 660. Okay, we're about to head through that little... <gasps> Hydrium barium copper oxide. Dipco is a family of crystal iron chemical compounds that display high temperature superconductivity. It includes the first material ever discovered to become superconducting above the boiling point of liquid nitrogen, 77K at about 93K. Oost. I I I think I see. Thank you very much for the bits as well. Damn, the education and bits. Cheese time. I'm being spoiled. And and cheese as well. Oh, that wasn't from you though, Electron. No. Uh, I'm trying to navigate through a tight tunnel here. I can't do this with cheese in my face. Oh god, listen to that sound. Listen to that sound. It's to my left as well. I'm taking a photo, I'm taking a photo. Nothing, okay. It's fine, there's nothing there. It's fine, it'll be fine. What's a high market tech? I can't remember if I said that earlier. 233-657. That's fine, alright, let's keep going until we're about to crash in front and then we can head down. <laughs> Take a close look at that monitor. The fuck is that noise though? Wait, what is that? Looks like a little raccoon or something in, in, in the middle. What is that? I think it's just an optical illusion. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't the only one who saw a raccoon. Yeah, I'm not gonna bung the raccoon. Okay. It's like in front of me now, right? Wait, wait, is the thing that's making this weird noise the thing I'm heading towards to take a photo of? I can't tell if it's in front of me or behind me. Wait. Oh, it's in front of me. Take a photo. It's in front of me now. Maybe we'll see it. Just a little guy. Okay, we're not close enough yet, I guess. Oh god. Oh yeah, right. It's narrow, so of course that's gonna happen. Right. Okay, so once Y becomes five seven six, that's a nice number. <laughs> uh. Oh god. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna turn this way a bit, I guess? Question mark? Wait, what does Y need to be? 576. Why am I so close to things? Suck. Okay. okay, I'm gonna take a photo of whatever the fuck this is. I think I'm looking right at the thing that's making a noise. Maybe I'm not. It's kinda of horrific. Kinda of is. Oh my god. Okay, what is making that noise though? Okay, I'm heading away from that wall, never mind. Okay, there's the other wall. Okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> yeah, this is me right now. Just desperately trying to turn this up around. Yep, there's a new leak. Nice. And I'm almost dead. Oh my god, it's shaking. What the fuck? Uh... What the... What is going on? It, wait. Is this like a really hot thing and it's like heat haze or something? 
Okay, right around here. That's the thing I need to be taking. What is happening? What the hell is this? What is that? Uh... Wait, the other way around. Wait. No, it is to the right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused with directions. It's the, it's the other right. Is it this thing making the noise? Okay, did I get it? I, I got it. What if I get closer? Okay, I, I just kind of go through it now. Alright, we're backing up. We're done. We're done there. Moving back. I hope it's going to stop the screen warping. I'm guessing the screen's warping because of whatever the hell it is I'm close to is really hot. Yes, it stopped warping now. Okay, good. Because it was either that or it's because my sub is like fucking dying, which it is anyway, but... It's the bends. You're being saturated with nitrogen and your own nervous system is being affected by it. Well, I don't think it is. Because it's stopped now, thankfully. What the f- Uh, I think I just got slapped somewhere. 277635 277635 What? How did I get slapped from here to here? Wait, was it like a portal or something? Did I just go through like a portal? My brain isn't the only thing that's smooth. <laughs> nice, okay, I'm just gonna head in this direction and hope that there's nothing around here. And this, this flickery area is... There's nothing wrong with it at all. I hope you're not dying, Cat. Okay, I'm gonna head... I'm, I'm close to you. Wait. Oh, because I said I'm close to something really hot. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay. So I'm like right around... 277, 635, Is somewhere like here? I'm gonna head up like this way. Where's my thingy? I don't know. Wait, I could just back up to save time. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna back up. Oh my god! Ah! Uh, Fred, thank you very much for the bits! You said your sub was dying. Hey, hey! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was pretty good. That's pretty good, Cat. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm at two eight nine six eighty. Two eight nine six eighty. Okay, I kind of want to turn this thing around. I don't like going backwards. Also, because you know, it's nice to be able to look at what I'm about to crash into if I need to. So many foxes in this chat. Yeah, three foxes. Well, I guess final foxes had to stop. Wait, what? Why am I getting closer to something that's behind me? That worries me. Is something chasing me? Oh my god, I got lost for a second. I got lost in a tiny submarine. What is wrong with me? Okay, there's nothing there. I'm still here. Ah, uh, hi, hi. Stop hurting yourself, though. Also, hi, no, Ajin. Also, hi, Ajin. I returned with a full tummy. Nice! What did you place into your tummy? Also, where am I? 306 700 or 300 700 roughly okay so it's straight to the top right so not straight at all and to answer your question about what that was uh the room sound was meant to just play once but instead it's playing as claps and only when people throw bits at me that's a complete mistake three two five seven forty okay one day i'll clean it up a bit three two five seven forty Wait, no, I want to head further that way. Okay, that's close enough. And the angle it wants is... 18 degrees. 18, 18, 18, 18, that's close enough. Need to be within 10 degrees. Alright, what am I looking at? What the f... I don't like this one. I don't like this one! Right, it's marked, it's complete, let's back up. Bad feeling about this. <sighs> Alright. 
can we have a pole to keep it or eat it? Well, look, we will still have rooms. They just aren't, aren't going to repeat a million times like the claps. I will make them like be a little bit offset. So if you put a whole bunch of rooms, it'll be like, vroom, 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 you know, like a bunch. I personally love how it makes it sound like a swarm of rooms. Ah, don't worry, it will still sound, if you put many rooms, it will still sound like many rooms. But it just won't repeat over and over and over. Tentacles? Maybe. It's like the claps, you know, a single clap just sounds like a single person clapping. Whereas many claps sounds like a whole hall of people. Yeah, where am I heading exactly? Oh, there's only one more to do! I might actually do this without dying. I really hope that when O2 goes to like the bottom light, that's not immediate death. Ah, my ears! Yep, that's that that's a big hall of people. Holy crap. Five hundred, seven hundred. <laughs> that one person at the end? <laughs> it's like that one person only just got the joke or something. Five hundred, seven hundred, did I read that correctly? It is cheese. <laughs> the one sarcastic clap is so good. My ears! Only one left. Surely nothing bad can happen on the way to it. Yeah, right? Surely, surely. <laughs> My ears! Holy shit. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? What the fuck? Uh, why are people clapping at this? Uh, okay, oh, I, th I think I think I just nearly died while people were clapping at me. Oh, hi, Neil. Hi. It, it knocked me to somewhere. Four six five by seven hundred. Four six five. Seven hundred. Oh, I'm still right there though. Wait, did it just push me backwards? Hi, Neil. Though, how are you? What the fuck is this noise? Uh... Why are you running? Why are you running? Look, I'm not trying to run. Okay, what is this? <laughs> what is that? Ah, shit. <laughs> We're having a laugh and you're about to die. Yep, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Do you prefer... Do you prefer this? The, the floating nuke bubble? I forgot I haven't really resized much. Where the fuck am I trying to go exactly? Four nine. Oh god. Why is it so close? The knock was perfect. Wait, did it... Did the knock happen? When... Okay, where am I? Four ah! nine. Okay, basically five hundred seven hundred. Two hundred. Oh, I'm there! I'm in the tunnel already! That's why something's close to me. Oh my god, the clapping was like almost in sync with the <laughs> sound. But right, let's move up to 600. I am almost dead. Do you reckon it's just timing the oxygen meter according to however long it takes the person to play? And it doesn't actually have a time limit. Why are people knocking so much? Well, I'm almost done. So yeah, I guess it is just timing it with how, you know, your progress, you know, scripted to run out of oxygen right at the end or something. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, I think, we, ha I think we have a leak. I think we have a leak. Um, 600 by 700. 600, 700. Okay, let's move up to 750. I'm sorry for not paying a huge amount of attention to your dicks, but uh, I have more pressing issues right now. More, pr it's it's pressing more than you're you're pressing your your yeah. I'm sorry, I can't say this on Twitch. All right, seven fifty. Let's head. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. No, I'm just sorry, cat. I didn't even need to look to know it was you, but I did look anyway. Ah, thank you for the pants, Dodgin. I clipped when you took a picture of the eye as it appeared. I clipped when you took a picture of the eye as someone fucking claps. 
right as it appeared. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, hey, welcome. This is what I was waiting for. Shut up! I can't, I, can't, I can't shut up. I've got to think out loud. This is too hard to do in silence. Okay, I need to head towards... Post. Nope. Well, maybe there's cheese over there. Maybe that's what they want me to take a photo of. Yes. But six, seven, five, seven, seven, five. Let's go. I'll have a look at that clip right when I'm not dying. But thank you, thank you very much for making a clip. Something to my right, don't even care. Just, just kidding, I do care, I'm gonna take a photo. Even though I'm flooding. So is the submarine. So it's six, seven, five, seven, seven, five, right? Something like that? Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Have you considered not flooding? Wait, I know what's going to happen. This is going to go above the control panel soon. I'm not going to be able to see the controls, right? Oh, I foresee this. I'm going to have to try and do it based on my memory. Wait, then I'm not going to see the display there, right? Wait, this is the wrong way. Uh, uh, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Six and five, seven, seven, five. Okay, now I just correct the X. One of the perfectly timed knocks. Oh, the clapping. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the clip after this. Okay. Six seven five eight two eight. Oops. Wait. No. This one. Yes. <laughs> I haven't actually seen this far in the game at this at this point. So I'm going in blind at this point. No. 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 Don't care. Don't care. Do because I'm pointing away from it, whatever. 828, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the degrees. This is the last one. This is the last one. 295. We can do this. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? The biggest jump scare or something? But we've just had a jump scare. They can't do it again, right? Right. As well. <laughs> like, I thought it was gonna happen when I took the photo, alright? I thought it was gonna happen when I took the photo, not before it. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fred. <laughs> Play someone clip that, that timing was amazing. Oh, alright. <laughs> well, Guess there really was something interesting at the last point after all. Keen to see that clip. Ouch, that made me jump. <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's just finish off the, the fiction. Here we go. The expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. How did the UK have such foreshadowing? Satellite images show pieces of the SN13 skeleton. Okay, we'll never know what it said. Okay, I'm glad that we got a really satisfying ending where we couldn't even read the text at the end. Why? Why, why couldn't it just tell me to press a key to continue? Okay, nice. There goes the text. Yep, the first text had you press a key to continue, so I thought the ending text would as well. Apparently not. What if I continue from the end? Do I get to see it again? Uh... Well, at least I don't need to get up for a wee now. <laughs> Wait, what? 425700. 425700. Oh, okay. We get to do this again. All right. Let's do it again. Best thing is to play this OST while taking a nap. Super comfy. <laughs> uh, not sure about that one, Chief. Oh, shit. Okay. Prepare to see a giant eye. Actually, I'm just going to keep on going. I'm not even going to look at it. I know it's a giant eye. 
It really wants me to take a photo of it, but it's not gonna happen. So it's just like staring into my into my sub machine uh sub <laughs> submachine gun submarine right now. It's fine. We know that there's a giant thing. With that I really need to get up and get stuff done. Have a lovely time soon everyone. Thank you. Uh wait. And catch some comfy vibes and thank you for the stream, thank you. No worries. No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't follow me if I turn around. But yeah, bye bye no Hedgen. Thank you very much for stopping by. It's where the monster looked at the camera. Yeah, yeah, this is just the monster. I'm not gonna be fooled again. I'm just gonna I wonder if I keep on driving forward against a wall, will I crush the monster against the wall? Is that a thing that will happen? Imagine this in VR. Oh yeah, that would be actually really fucking scary. Okay, 500, 690, 500, 700. So just head to the right and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, how far until the wall? So we're at 700. No, roughly 700. X of 532. Okay, I'm going to try and ram it into this wall over here. Bye bye, Spooky Yuki. Break oxygen notification. That made me jump for a moment. Where's the wall? The wall is at roughly. 600 and. 10, I want to say. Let's see what happens. Hi, Sinef! Hi, 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 hi! You just missed the jump scare at the end of this game. I, I just decided to continue the game from the last checkpoint because I missed the ending text because we were all talking in the chat. I'm blaming on everyone else, but it's actually my fault, I'm sorry. So right now there's a monster cl clinging to the front of my submarine, which is meant to be a jump scare, but I've already seen it. So I'm just going to try and crush it against a wall. 613693 Because I want to see what happens. Okay, roughly this direction, I'm just against the wall. We'll do it. There's a wall. Alright, let's head towards that wall. Oh no, wait, it's got to be this direction. Okay, fair enough. Uh, thanks for hosting the games in Discord last time. Oh, no worries, no worries. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But now we know what happens when you do that. Yep. There we go. Also, Kat, what are you eating? At some point, you have to bonk into the eye. Yeah. I, I tried. What are you snacking on, Kat? Okay, we're jumping back in. I'm actually going to try and read the ending text this time. Right, third time's a charm, right? Third time of reading the index, the ending text. Let's just move forward. Wait, what's base? The game just ending? Based on balls? I'm gonna try and take a picture immediately now. I'm gonna take like one and then another one straight after, okay? So there's the eye, that's the jump scare, and now another one. Okay, it's dissipated already. Fine. Based on balls. <laughs> Oh, balls! Right, snacking on balls. I see, I see, I see. A learning experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah! We had to try it, right? Otherwise you'd never know that when you crash into a wall your submarine breaks. Who, who could have known, right? This sounds really interesting. Oh, Kit Kats! Nice! Wait, kick out balls? Wait, I've never had them before. You can check my clip if you want it without reaching it again. Oxygen. Nah, where's the fun in that? We're, we're right here now, right? 543. Oh, that's a nice number. 543. There. Oh, we're actually a little way away from some. Yeah, we're right around here. So let's head up. At like roughly this angle? At least Kat gets to experience the jump scare. I think she was away. Submarine IRL. Sounds terrifying as fuck. Does it really? 
kind of might want to hear that. Although I feel like that's going to make me more scared than this game. I'm going to get jump scared ever. Who do you think I am? I don't know. I've never seen you play a scary game. 543.21. Wait, did I actually say that? Or not? I'm doing amazing. I don't play scary games. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, so we're at roughly 600... 7, 7, 7, right, right around here. Okay, so we need to head right now. As you can see, I also have wet myself, uh, prep. I just might say a doctor as well. But let's move on to 6, 7, 5, on the x-axis. Integrity, I should say. I just care about the state of my pen, so integrity. Oh, okay, okay. Do you though? Right, 675. 675. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Can you play? Okay, 675, 767. 675. 767. Alright, head a bit further to the right. Wait, 675 is here. 767. Alright, straight up then, straight up. So it's time to get jump scared again. Except maybe not this time. What happens if I go past it, I wonder? Where are you trying to head to? A Y of 675. Wait, that can't be right. A Y of... X of 675. A Y of... 828. So pretty much exactly where we are X wise right now. We're just, I'm just gonna go past it and see what happens. How game's aim for me? I wish people played them with a jump scare list if they're in the comments. I also don't watch the vid usually unless I'm brave. Well, congratulations, Vlad, for, for for watching this one. Okay, I've gone past it. Okay, I've gone past it. It's 832. It's too far away. I'm not even facing the right direction. Will it do a jump? Yes, it will. And it still made me jump. Okay. Oh, it is a Unity game. Why is it having such issues being captured by OBS then? I can't believe you've done this. Holy yuck! Wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, thanks for taking me away from the danger. I'm sorry, I have to read this. The expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of the SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench, as if it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage can't be reached at this time. No photographs of the moon recovered. The stars shine pale as bones. The moon is a lifeless corpse. It sucks. It's ocean, a gaping wound, the universe, what's ever it is dying, or somewhere in the world, let's type. <gasps> Hi. I'm not very good at squeezing through deep, long red holes, are we? Uh, I was, I did it, I did it. So that's by design that you can't take a photo there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the oxygen running out. It became apparent to me that that was by design as well. Why am I in jail, by the way? Like, what, what's happened? Why, Sidef, why am I in jail? That was a cool game! Damn, that was actually a cool game. I'll stream now. No, no not anymore. I mean, well, maybe I'm in, I'm in jail soon. Look at the behind the scenes. Behind the scenes? Behind the scenes. Also, one sec, I just have to check the clip that, um, that, that was made. Where someone apparently clapped. S sorry, I should have warned before suddenly going to different music. <laughs> suddenly, we're pulling you out of the horror mode for a moment. How do you, how do the claps keep on being always in time with the music? That is amazing. That was like a really fast clap as well. Okay, bear with me for one moment. Twitch is loading up. It takes its sweet time. Especially when I'm streaming. 
تصير هاي امني why the cheese is like that is a question we'll never know uh, clips of my channel clap spam and perfectly timed knock <laughs> thank you blev oh you did the can't do it again as well nice right let's have a look at this can i just full screen it here yes i can Right, let's, let's, let's switch over to it. Uh, oh, good enough. Good enough. Let's see what this is. I'm going to go quiet for a moment. <laughs> My ears! Holy shit. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? <laughs> okay, that was impressive. Why are people clapping at this? <laughs> okay, that knock was amazing. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> how? How was that timing so good? I didn't notice the knock cat. I all I was hearing was like the clapping. Cheers. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I'm. I'm sorry. I, I didn't notice it. I'm sorry. There was so much going on at that moment. I, I'm sorry I didn't notice the knock. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm here, bitch. Exactly. You can actually photograph it. The fish appears on the last photo. Not specifically on the top right one. What? Wait a second. Can I need to turn this on? Really bad at turning things on. I send a vid in stream chat on Discord. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're saying that you can take a picture of the fish, but not at the top right one? Does it like maybe like when it appears down there? Is that when it happens? Because it whips me, it slams me there. Something slams me there, maybe into. The Wait, maybe it slams me into the air and then back down into here. Well, it doesn't sound like it. I still like the idea of a teleporter. And like. What, or, or if you take a photo in advance of reaching that, before you reach that? If you skip something else and go to that one, you can take a pic of it. Oh! Interesting. What do you mean the eye? I don't... I don't know. Uh, the final jump scare appears on the last object you would photograph. But the top right object doesn't have to be the last one. Ah! Interesting. Alright. That makes sense. All right, let me have a look at what you sent, F. Paul. The fish, yeah. <laughs> the fish is a, possibly a generous thing to call it. The top right photo actually shows them. That's pretty interesting, actually. Excuse me. Uh... Where are we? Stream chat. I hacked Iron Lung to reveal everything the game doesn't show you. That's kind of interesting. Hmm, how long is that? Being trapped. Shh, 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 shh. Three minutes. I guess we could watch that. Feels very weird of me still to show other people's stuff on the stream, you know? Uh. And move things around. What is this? What is the icon for Iron Lung, by the way? I can't really work it out. Is that like a skull or something? If I go to this view... Uh... Look, that logo right there. What is that icon? I can't really make it out. Oh, it's almost like a... Like a well, it's a close-up photo of something, right? I wonder is the fish. The very last fish, I wonder. Uh, hmm. Reaction content? <sighs> Yeah, I guess so. Oh, wait, it's eight minutes. Do I really want to do that? Do I really want to do that? Eight minutes. <laughs> I must say, though. Shush, shush, shush. Wait. Uh, I must say, this looks kind of funny, though. No, not that. The thumbnail. God damn it. I've lost the thumbnail again. Wait a sec. Apparently, putting the thing into thumbnail makes it start playing. I mean, the thing into full screen makes it start playing. I never knew that, though. Look at this. Wait. Oh my god. 
I'm so tired, I can't even work out how to control things. Thank you for the pads, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that actually looks pretty funny if that's the model as it really is. Something that just zooms into the into the submarine. But yeah, um, I don't know, I feel, feel a bit weird about playing someone else's video, literally. <laughs> Wait, uh... Decide. Can, can, I, can I eat the beans? Um... I have to work, you can have a great rest of your stream. Oh, thank you very much! No worries, no worries, no worries! Good luck with you all working. Hope it goes well. Thanks for the luck. Thanks for coming at all. The blood is... BEANS?! I know, right? That'd be amazing. I'd be happy to have the submarine leaking. Well, I mean, it might be a little bit moldy. But, yeah. Um, okay. I will probably watch this afterwards. I feel bad about watching, like, React stuff, and also, like, just watching a thing that I haven't, you know, watched previously, or, or and, like, no one's vetted as being, you know, okay on the stream. Uh... Didn't go well the the last and only time I tried it, so I think I'll pass for now. I'll watch it afterwards, so. Reaction content's pretty normal. Yeah, I still don't like it. <laughs> still feels bad. I'm just like using other people's stuff for my my benefit. Feels kind of gross. Not gonna lie, no go. Okay. I'm. I'm not even sure if I am fractionally more awake right now. Uh, should we do a little work on the snake game? On Snook? I could do that. Plenty of people react to funny videos. I know, I know, I know they do. Because um, I was originally planning on doing work on Snook today. And then I didn't have, you know, sleep. So it became kind of difficult. I want you to use my stuff for your benefit. <laughs> <gasps> well, I am going to be using your starting soon screen. I, I actually thought I'd rendered out a version that I can use. I realized there are some mistakes in it and that it looks kind of bad. Like the, the animation of me throwing stuff out is too fast. I need to slow it down. And that takes like over an hour to render because shortcut is hideously inefficient. Shortcut is a open source video editor. And now I've put it all together in there, and I don't want to put it all together in some other program, so... Yeah. You laugh, you cheese challenge? <laughs> it's got a lot of people do it and make it right. Yep, true. And, um... Yeah. I feel like it's the people who do it are the people who... really don't need to do it. <laughs> you know? Reaction arc beginning, what comes after its political commentary, cat girl? <gasps> no. No! You laugh, you cheat. Okay, you laugh, you lose could actually be good. But, yeah, I don't know. It, it might be fun. Maybe I just feel less bad about that because someone else has already done the <laughs> part of stealing other people's clips and putting them into a compilation. You care reacting to you care. Oh, okay, that's a you cringe, you lose challenge. Okay, one sec. I'm just gonna fire up Game Maker. And related folders. Game Maker detected 16 old temp folders left over from earlier runs. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, remove them. Like, why though? Okay. Um, let me just have a look. Make sure everything's ready for capturing. Don't need Steam anymore. I don't need anything. Oh, I kind of need my streaming setup, I guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I should keep uh, my streaming setup open. Okay, let me just quickly change the title. Um, so yeah, I should mention what I'm about to be doing. I'm going to be continuing to work on my Snook. It's a very, very silly game called Snook, which is a mix of like snake and uke, or the long uke, basically. So Kat, Dunfox Cat, who was in here just a moment ago, she's working on something now, but... One second, let me just set a stream title, hold on. Continuing... No, uh... Giving 
the snook letting the snook grow in mega eight in mega in the tags as well Boop. all right three to one done so um I should mention yuking around yes I'm about to do that don't need unity anymore. Yeah. Wait, can I safely do that? No, I'll just... If I do that, then it will just go to... Boop. Yeah. Wait, extremely sus. Oh, the yuke tentacle? Is it? Snooking around the shears. Yuking around at the street. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's do this. Let me just change the logo. Actually, no. I Yeah, I should change the logo. Make it so I can choose Iron Lung. By the way, I was making the logo for Iron Lung or preparing it during the waiting screen. Yet again. Alright. So, yeah, Cat. Uh, Dumb Fox Cat. Um, used to use this emote combo, which was uh, the Derpy Cat. So, the Derpy Yuka emotes that Crazy Stewart just used. Uh, this one. Uh, so that's this one. Along with uh, two emotes of Nyanas. Uh, of Nyanas. Although she doesn't have them anymore. Um, but yeah. But in any case, I just I just always originally drew my own little this and this. So you could just chain these together, you can imagine, to make like a what what the cat called the long yuke. Understand it, and uh, and yeah, and I said, huh, okay, I kind of want to make that into a game, and so I did. It's still very much, uh, pff, you know, silly, but yeah, I'll show you what we've got so far. Da da, I'm holding down shift now to make myself grow longer. So these corner pieces and the tail tile together perfectly like that, which is kind of nice. Very visually pleasing. And, um, yeah, instead of like collecting like an apple or something, um, I just currently hold down shift to grow, which is just like a debugging thing. I'm gonna make it be a real, you know, actually grow when it should. But yeah, and instead of collecting an apple, uh, you have to lick the tail. You automatically lick when you get close to the tail. And, and then, and then Cat runs away. These are kind of placeholder sprites. But yeah. Is the cat evil and going to kill you? Well... Snake, can you read snake? Snake! Uh, if you get into her radius, then this happens. Then she starts throwing cheese. Which can actually hit your head. Like that. This game needs to be R-rated? Nah, it's fine. It's just based on silly Twitch emotes. It's fine. Oh yeah, right. And if you when when you when you hit your into yourself, it's uh you die. Because you try to lick yourself. But yeah, these are all just silly twitch emotes, so I haven't actually bothered to draw anything. Oh, well, no, I did draw the tongue on a sprite. <laughs> Does getting hit with cheese lower your size? I'm not exactly sure what hitting with being hit with cheese should do. It should do something. Right now, nothing affects your size except for holding shift and resetting like that. Um, but that was just because of debugging, you know. I've also the way I've programmed this. I've the way I've programmed it actually allows you to have multiple ukes, like multiple players, like multiple in pinball. So, um, that is, you know, it'll still calculate correctly, you know, when any of you is in front of cat and, like, when any of you lick and that kind of stuff, you know? I think multiple cats would also work. I'm not sure, though. Maybe you can't lick, because your face is blocked by cheese. 
Oh yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah, of course the cheese should stick to my face. Yeah! Of course the cheese should stick to my face. Yeah. Because that's what happens when people throw cheese at me, right? Cheese. Ah. Ooh, thank you for the demonstration. <laughs> Should I be able to lick the cheese, though? Should that be a bonus so you can lick the cheese? Because that would mean that, you know... That would mean that, um... That you have to get close and risk something, right? Cheese sticks, nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's well, so the hi, Silly? And bye, Silly! Wait, Yuktron? Why Yuktron? Oh, because the cheese is on my face? Oh, god damn it. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. This, the screen goes black whenever I exit. <laughs> hi, bye, Silly. Multiple Yukes? Okay, let's try it. I also head off. I got uni lecture. Wait, multiple Yukes are in. Tr okay, I never. I haven't actually watched Tron, I'm sorry. But good luck, good luck, uh, with your uni lectures, blep. Just putting a few of these. Oh, I should have put more, uh... <laughs> this looks so funny. I should have put more, um, cats in as well. Oh my god, it's almost in sync with the music. <gasps> oh my god, we need music. We need music, very rhythmical music. Oh, that'll make this feel so much better. And just to have the movement synced with the music. Yes, we need that. We need that. We absolutely need that. <laughs> oh my god, my ears! Right, of course, all of them die and they all play death sounds when they crash. <gasps> 100 bitties for Lucky Duke. Wait, what? what's happening? Uh, what the fuck just happened? Like, my computer ground to a halt for a moment. And, and the bits completely missed me because of of, uh, of Unity freezing as well. I don't know what just happened. Like, I, I almost just crashed. What happened to the stream? Was the stream okay? But thank you very much for the bits, Blep. I'm, I'm sorry that they kind of just glitched completely through me because everything froze for a moment. Were you able to still hear me for a moment? Even my audio, like, crackled on my end for a moment. That was weird. Damn. Ooh, what the hell? What the hell? Video froze, but audio was fine. Okay. Yeah, stuff froze on my end. And my audio crackled for a moment. Just, just uh, like, for a split second. It's in sync with the music. Reminds me of that Zelda rhythm game. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've been sick for like one week and a half, so it's annoying now. Oh, wait, did I, read, did, I read, bleh, did I read that wrongly? Oh, it's so annoying now. Well, I'm very sorry for you, Sinef. Have you, like, been to a doctor or something? Bye? Bye? Oh, but bye, Beth. Bye, Beth. Okay, it's interesting. Apparently, there's an error if we, uh, have multiple ukes. Alright. Okay, th 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 there are problems if there are multiple ukes. Yeah, okay, we can't do that. Never mind. Maybe multiple cats is okay then? I don't remember what it was. Something, multiple somethings was alright. What if I just do multiple cats? Did that work? Okay, this seems to work. Ah, <laughs> oh, does it not lick this tail? Ah, it doesn't lick the tail. It only licks the tail of one of them. Ah, damn. Okay, this doesn't work very well with multiple things, does it? Oh dear. Mm, so you're getting the position of one tail then, I guess. Damn, that's annoying. Is there a way to, like, iterate over all instances? Oh, that looked nice though when the transparent radar things were, like, overlapping. Did you see that? That was satisfying. I wonder if there's a way to iterate over all instances of uh, an object in code. There's not enough space in this town for two ukes? I guess not. 
I admire your imagination with this game. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of time sitting at home doing nothing. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Just uh, please make sure you drink enough water and stuff. Okay, so when we move to a new position, that's here. Here we are. This is spawning the tongue if necessary. <sighs> and this is why it fails. Because we're checking the distance to the first instance of cattail. And, um... Sorry. I'm not sure if there's a way to iterate over all instances of that type without having to go over all instances of everything in the entire game and seeing if that is a, a tail, you know? Because obviously, I think that is possible, but it's not very efficient. But hey, this is a game maker, clearly we're not worried about efficiency. Instance ID, instance sanctuary door. Instance count. Number of instances that currently exist in this room. So that's just of everything. Oh no, wait, object. Yeah, okay, so that is what they're trying to do. They just advise that you go through every single instance. And you see if it actually exists currently. Uh, and then you see if the type of the object matches, you know, the type that you're looking for. Okay, they really want you to iterate over all instances. I'm not sure if that's worthwhile, I'm gonna be honest. Hmm. Seems good to see C++ wanted over Unreal or something else other than Game Maker. Uh... Oh, oh right, uh, yeah, I should probably mention, sorry, sorry. The reason I was using Game Maker is because I wanted a change, and I wanted like some nostalgia, or it's like, I, okay, so Game Maker is what first got me into programming a long time ago, a long time ago. So I kind of wanted like, you know, a bit of a blast from the past, and thank you for the hydration item as well. So that's why I started using this. I mean, you know, obviously I'm usually using Unity, that's what I'm using for this. My, my streaming setup, that is, is Unity. So, uh, but yeah, um, I don't know, I've never used Unreal. If I want to learn another game in engine, then the one I'm most tempted to try learning right now is Godot. Because a bunch of friends are using it, and it's possible to use C++ in, as in it, apparently, so. You know, and it has a bunch of things that Unity should have, like custom loop points on audio files that you can actually set through code or parameters, not just undocumentedly import through WAV files. So yeah, um, like a friend of mine said this, I think it might have been Enlin, in fact, it was in Heralia, she said, um, I think it was her, <laughs> I might know, I think it was uh, Freb, right, I think it was Freb, Fix It Freb actually, who said, it looks like the people developing Godot looked at Unity, and they looked at everything that it does badly, or doesn't, doesn't do well, which is the same thing, and said, okay, we're going to do this right in Godot. Which is good. <laughs> this is adorable little... Puffle... Wobble. <laughs> Puffle wobble! Yeah, it definitely feels that way. I know that's awesome, but it has issues. Same with Unity, same with Godot. Okay, nothing's going to be perfect, right? Nothing's going to be perfect. But I feel... I don't know. I don't know. I want to give Godot a chance. It's something I've never... You know, I hadn't even heard of until recently, so... But yeah. I've heard bad things about... Um... Unreal's the way it uses C is when you're doing stuff in Unity, sorry, doing stuff in Unreal, it's more like you're doing everything through Unreal specific macros. You know, like they just hash defined a bunch of things. Or I guess maybe made wrapper functions, I don't know. Maybe I should give it a go after the jam. Yeah, maybe. I actually don't know much about the bad things in Unity. Unreal C++ is kind of the most ugly thing. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Ah, uh, did I miss Freb's last stream? Probably. If someone told you that, they didn't know what they were talking about. Wait, what? That, that you're using macros a lot in Unreal? But Freb, you have experience using Unreal, don't you? Um, okay, uh, alright. Here's what I want to actually be working on. I actually have a file on my desktop called Snook Do. Let me just open it. 
as in do for the for the snook game. Let me just show you it. Change the font size so you can actually read it. Make it bold, I guess. There you go. Okay. So look the tail of the challenge is done. Cut shoots cheese to dodge is in progress. Make tail wavy programmatically, save to file, then corner blah blah blah. Okay, this was all done and I was very, very happy with the fact that it works. Unfortunately, this makes the tail, instead of being a static straight thing, it, it looks nice and wavy and it animates. The problem is, it looks like an intestine. Um, this is something that F. Paul suggested. DJ F. Paul, who was in chat earlier? Maybe still. The ability to dig underground to avoid obstacles and then come back out for a couple of steps, which sounds really cool. I'd love to implement that. Different skins or colorizations, probably suggested by Enlin because she wanted a Yuchini skin from when I, one of my Shijun images. I made a Yuchini, like a Yuke, that was a courgette, or as it is in America, a Zuchini. And have it moddable by loading external PNG files for sprites is simple enough. There's no real challenge to that, and that's how we could have different skins anyway. They could just be stored as PNGs. Unreal forces you to do the way, do things the way Unreal wants. Shove the framework up your snook. <laughs> okay, nice. UHT. Ultra high temperature, like like the milk, the thing they do to pasteurize milk. <laughs> I'm guessing it's Unreal something something. I don't know. Unreal Engine uses is use header tool to do reflect. I still know what reflection is. Can someone explain what reflection is? Please. Use it every day for your sins. <laughs> nice. RTTI properties. I have no idea what that is. Real time tongue indentation. Reflection is basically using methods or classes by name. A way for your program to have access to properties by their names. So you can like pass in a string. Almost like set property and then you type a string and then stuff. But it's done a code that does things to code in real time. Generate code. Okay, oh, so it's actually interpreted. It's not just like done away with that compile time. Okay, that's uh that's kind of gross. Yeah, that's, that feels gross. Okay, so I also need to use this sound, which is... <laughs> which is a scared uke sound, which is actually me hiccuping. But apparently my, my hiccups sound like what the long uke should sound like, according to Dumbfox Cat. So who am I to... to... to, uh, to disagree? Reflections are usually for being able to read all properties in the class. So you have to list them in front end. All engines do that. Wait, okay, okay. If it's on by index, that's less gross, but it is still an additional layer of, you know, conversion, which is, you know, I'd rather not have. <laughs> but doing it by string at runtime sounds kind of gross. Like literally checking each separate character one by one. I, mean, I guess you would hash it. Whatever. Okay, um, all right, I need to do a thing. What do I need to do? All right, let's make it so that you can actually, the long you can grow, right? Because right now I'm just pressing shift to grow as a debug thing. We don't really need that anymore. Let's just make it so that you can uh, lick the tail and and, and the and the you grows, right? Let's do that. Okay, so it's gonna be in here. So currently when I'm holding shift in the step event, Wait, not in the step event. Oh, it's when we grow, right? Where is it? Uh, where's it? Where's it done? Where's Where's the growing thing? Uh, okay. What is this? this is making a new thing. Blah blah blah. blah. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm flipping blind. I'm so blind. Okay, there we are. If shift is pressed, let the tail grow without deleting the oldest. Okay, okay, okay. 
Sorry, your reflection to generation through macros are not hand typed, so you don't need to worry about refactors. Blah, blah. Have you ever used standard is same in C? That is a simple reflection. I have not. It sounds very redundant. <laughs> Why can't you just use equals equals? I thought that was the is same operator. Okay, I'm gonna add a new one, which is gonna be called uh, need to grow, which is false to begin with. And once you lick the tail, need to grow is gonna become true. And then in this step here is it going to be if not need to grow. It's a weird way of doing it, isn't it? Hmm. It's a very weird way of doing it. Wait, do you not need to put that in brackets? You do not. Ah, one second. I'm making a lot of typers. You know what will completely stop the typers? The mechanical keyboard. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But it just reminded me that I, I should Jeez. be using clicky keyboard because it's satisfying. <gasps> one second. People are throwing cheese at me. I'll be right back. Wait, which way do I go? No, that way, not that way. This, oh, look, this way. I'm back. Who's hammering at my door? Standard is same Jeez. underscore v is less than int and the C type my variable. It's using my types, not variables. V? Like vibe? <laughs> variable type? Wait, V. Wait, V. Is same V compares types, not values? Why is it the same, not the same T then? Because V sounds like it is for values. Desi type? Yeah, but apparently it's not for values. Oh, Desi type. Is that is that like turning a type into a decimal? Like an index? For, or making it... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Cheese stops typers? I don't think it does. Well, we can try it. I guess. See if my typos get less. Okay, so if... Um... So, let... Tail grow without the... Okay, oh, this is, um... Delete the next oldest. Not allowing ah, tail to grow unless it should grow. Well, what a flipping weird comment that is. Alright, screw that. V for very code. I mean, there was a hiccup. There was a weird hiccup, yes. Um, okay, so when the tail, no, the tongue touches the tail, this triggers cat to do things. But what I also want to do is do with oh, juke face. Uh, need to grow equals true. Equals true. There we are. Cause, uh, you could tail to grow on next step. Right, nice. Desi type or decal type? Is it is it I or L? Decal type. Reflect type. Oh, it is decal type. I should have read my own chat above me. The font's easier to read there than it is on OBS. But like the chat on OBS. I've got V is just convention of template programming. Template programming? It's done during compilation, so it's not real reflection there. Okay. 
Okay, all right. So I should grow now when I like the tail. Let's just test that. Whee! Wait, what? Why did I start inside there? Oh, I must have deleted the. Hang on a second. Oh, I deleted the wrong. Yeah, I deleted the wrong uke. I shouldn't have put it out of there. That, that was that was cruel of me. Down there is where you should have her start. Oh god! Help! There we are. Man, my audio is having major issues this stream. I wonder if you heard that. Or if it sounded normal for you. Okay, so I can't- I can no longer hold shift to grow, which is good. And when I'm this tiny size, I can go back on myself. Let's see if I grow. Hey! Wait! Oh yeah, right, I forgot to set it to false again. Whoops! <laughs> Should probably make it so that you don't grow infinitely. Uh, okay, so if you do need to grow, then need to grow can become false. Otherwise, we do this. If Pill should grow, do nothing on this step. Else, delete the next oldest tail case and allowing tail to grow. Wait. Else, delete it. Not allowing it to grow. Yes, that's great. <sighs> Are we in all showdown for a What? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, let's see if this grows. Nice! Look at that! That's kind of satisfying. Why does it feel so much better just seeing it do things by itself? Okay, we should probably have a score as well, huh? I guess the score is just going to be the length. Okay, nice. Uh, static reflection, okay. Is when it's compiled. Hello, hi, Nomotic. Hi, hi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I almost missed your chat. I see it though. Hi, Nomotic. I assume is how I should be pronouncing that. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrongly. But hi, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry for neglecting your message for like I don't know how long. I think multiple minutes though. Oh god. Uh, okay. So we can lick that. My voice, voice was all, the voice was all distorted. Yeah, all sound would have been. Uh, yeah. Basically, all my sound is going through this, which is overkill for just processing sound. But uh, I haven't already have it from making music. And it's a very old version of Ableton Live. Uh, and this is has things triggered um, through MIDI, which is sent out by this my, my my Unity program that is rendering my avatar as well. So when someone does the spooky Yuki redeem, then um, you know, but that this is it, it turns on this this effect right here, and it like gradually dials this up as it fades in and down as it fades out, and I can also trigger that with a, a, a button on my interface. This also does the reverb and the and uh, down of the voice. And uh, a bunch of general cleanup at the very beginning, so that you can actually hear what I'm saying much more easily. Like that. And this. And this. Okay. Ah! Uh, I heard Novatech and was confused. Novatech? Oh yeah, this also does like a quietening of like music and stuff if my uh, voice becomes really loud like that. Wait, that wasn't reducing it at all. Testy test! Okay. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I think I had that too far in that direction. Sing a testy song? Uh.
That wasn't meant to be a minor chord. Oh yeah, wait, why did I have the karaoke here? What was the karaoke? Oh yeah, right, wait, uh... What was the karaoke thing? What does this do? Ah, it's just another reverb. With optional chorus. Yeah, this is a much more, like... Fake, sort of, or very small rim kind of reverb? Wait, it's chorus on... Oh, it's... Wait, what is this? Hello? Nya. Lactose filled dairy product. Oh, that's a very subtle effect. Interesting. Forgot about that. Why am I having cheese thrown at me? There's also this. I still don't have a... Like a... Redeem for this. But this is like, it's called troll. Because it like trolls me into not being able to talk because... Randomly, every so often, it will just like... There you go. It'll just start like repeating. Whenever this light comes on, this one right here. It's gonna start just looping a tiny bit of what I just spoke. Which makes it re 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 really hard for me to talk. And, it, and it's just like a troll thing. I have to keep, 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 keep. I have to keep on talking to be able to make it stand out there. There's also this one. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, the reason I bring this up is because for some reason the, the uh, sound interface occasionally just, I don't know, something lags for a moment and then the buffer, like reading and writing is all fucked up. I still have code my own RTTI on my bucket list. What was RTTI again? Real time text inversion. Render the thorny impulse. Can we redeem that effect, the troll one? It sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, you can't yet, but I should make it a redeem. I should. I'm not sure what to do. Runtime type information. Ah, okay, okay. I'm not sure what to do, like, visually to indicate that the troll redeem is active, you know? Like, when you, like, the one with the reverb goes along with like a big bloom, the holy uke redeem. The one that's spooky, you know, uh, this one, one goes along with a spooky looking redeem. And this one goes along with like a evil looking thing, dark and red glowing eyes and stuff like that. I'm not sure what I'd do for the troll one. Oh right, people actually, I remember now, people suggested like a glitchy effect. Might actually be fun to do a glitchy effect. Like, you know, uh... Like a inner shader, you know? Changing the troll face while it's repeating. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna be able to get out of Ableton Live when it's repeating, unless... Hmm. Can you assign things to MIDI outputs on here? Obviously you can map MIDI input. But can this, could this like trigger something on an output? I know I can map... Well, okay, I can manually trigger the repeat as well, 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 by doing that. So I could just have my Unity thing trigger it, and then Unity will know when it's triggering in order to show a glitch. Can I post a link? Uh, not in this chat? What are you wanting to post a link for? But if you're in my... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. You can in the stream chat channel of my Discord server if 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 you'd like to join. But I completely understand if you don't want to join a random fucking cat on the internet just to post a link. Anyway, there it is. If you want to, <laughs> never mind. It's not even posting it. Right, screw it. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I forgot my own commands. That's the one. Anyway, sorry. But what are you wanting to share a link for, though? That's that's what I'm curious about. Um, oh my god, there are people shouting outside my door. Max Headroom Redeem. <laughs> Wait, what would that look like? Just make me really low poly or something? Wait! Do I still have links disabled? I think I do, right? Cat fearful of links. Yeah. I have a fear of links. Deserved a rickroll. Wait, what? Wow. Wow. 
I was going to post a YouTube link to the Shredder and bit I was referencing. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Sorry, in the boutique for, for scary. Not this creep. No! Don't stretch the cat! Don't stretch the spook! You gotta squish that cheese. You gotta squish that cheese! Okay, um. Let's make it so that you can dig. Oh. Diggy dig Diggy dig I woke up with that song in my head for some reason. I have no idea. Why? Do I look more normal now? Do I really? Do I really? Ooh. Wait, I can't get closer, I forgot. Never mind. Never mind, it's where it's worn off now anyway. Who cares? It's all too late. God damn it. Who dared to touch the spooky cat? Um I mean Mukatek apparently, but Okay. Uh so I kind of want my head to disappear and then and not drop any tails and not be deleting no yeah you can still delete tails I guess or just make invisible tails I guess look like I'm on catnip really <laughs> also hold on a sec is there a way that I can set the sprite of an object to no sprite through code is sprite minus one no sprite or something I wonder I didn't mean to click that button. I forgot that this was typed. I think Nova typed that or something in chat and I thought it was adorable. So I just decided to type it in the game info. Sprite index is minus one, nothing. This is the index. You can change it. As value, you can use the names. Changing sprite does not affect the index of the currently visible sub image. Okay, it doesn't actually tell you whether minus one is none. I guess I could just set visible to false if I don't want it to be visible. Because here's the thing, here's what I want to do. I what? What? Here's what I want to do. We have the head, which looks like this. No. There you go. That, that, there's, there's the derpy uke. I'm drawing this is this is my drawing of the derpy uke. There you go. And then we have the um There you go. Now now it's now it's a true derpy uke. Oh wait, we need this as well. There we go. Okay, so this is the head piece, right? And then we have a tail piece like this. And we also have like a end of tail piece like that. What I want to do is I want you to be able to like every time you move forward a step, it's like boop, 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 right? I should I should probably draw this align to a, a like a grid. Hold on, let me just quickly draw a grid. Uh Well, I don't really care about how it's going horizontally, to be honest, or vertically. Okay. So, uh, delete this as well. That's a nice mess that's made on top of that. Okay, so what I want to be able to do is... Why did I put all these lines on that side instead of this side? When you bury yourself into the ground, I want yourself to go invisible. Well, yes, I basically want yourself to go invisible. So you will go here normally, right? And then here normally, and then here normally. But what I want is for... Oh yeah, by the way, as soon as you get... Wait, is that how it works? As soon as you get made, the tail disappears. 
How did it work again? Uh... Yeah, I think it's right. No, I can't. Uh, it's not right, is it? I can't remember how my own thing works, huh? Thank you for the pets. I think... Okay, so you could dive into the hole on this frame then. Normally when you move like that, you drop a tail underneath you immediately. And you can't see that tail because you haven't yet finished like sliding over like that. And the tail gets re revealed as you slide over. Okay, that's how it works. Sorry to spoil the illusion. But what I want to do is when you do digging into a hole, I want you to move over to there, but your head becomes invisible for a moment. So it looks like you've just disappeared somewhere, right? And the tail picture that it drops is just like like a hole, right? Like with some crater around it, you know? So you're not here, but it's you're invisible. Then over here, maybe two steps will pass, and eventually, when you come back out, over here... Uh, let's just shuffle this over a bit. Give myself a couple more steps. So you've been underground here, right? So you're, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Here, you'll spawn back out. And you can disappear like a head normally, right? So you could use this to like dodge yourself or or cat, for example. If you have this add, like this power up that lets you dig. And then when you move on from that position, the first tail that'll be made is another hole like this. Like that. <coughs> And then obviously, um, when you move over, the next tailpiece after that will be a normal tailpiece. And it's going to look like it's coming out of this hole. So I guess we sort of need a tail that goes in like that. And one that comes in from this angle as well. That's probably how it would look. Uh, okay. So we're going to need... Um, hmm. This is going to be difficult because... The tail pierce is going to need to be able to come in from any angle, you know? I think. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to dig a hole from any of these angles as well, right? But obviously it's only going to look like it's curving like this if it's coming from the side. If it's coming from here, it would be like a straight line. If it's coming from here, it would sort of go like that, I guess? Not exactly sure how it would look from this perspective. Something like that, I guess. It's called Yuke and it's art. <laughs> Isn't it though? Is it actually art? Okay, so we're gonna ha I'm gonna have to draw some um a bunch of uh different versions of these sprites. And I reckon it might be easier if I just draw the hole. And actually no, because through code I'm gonna need to know when to delete the the hole. What I was thinking was I could like have the drop a hole and then it'll draw drop another tail object on top of it. Well you know that actually might be good. That would mean that the holes can remain in the game, right? Ah <gasps> this could be interesting. Then the holes could remain in the level and maybe you could use those holes again in the future without the power up. You could reuse those holes. Mm, but then you'd be stuck underneath here, I guess. Unless you, uh, you know, directed yourself in the exact same direction as before. Because you're not going to be allowed to, like, go through the hole a second time, go around here, and then break out here, right? We don't want to allow that. So, uh, if I could somehow memorize the exact path that you originally took and just force you to retake that path if this is a new hole that's a possibility i guess alternatively you could just be going around under the ground you know all around the place but you can't pop up anywhere other than here i'm not sure if there'd be a point to that i feel like it would just be really dangerous if you tried to i guess it could be a hazard then if you're following the same holes right then if you go somewhere else like this 
then you'd die there. You can only remain underground for like two steps, for example. And if you became misaligned with the original hole, and you didn't have the plug-in, the, the power-up anymore, then you'd die, like bonk your head on the inside, like drown in the soil or something. This is similar to a dream I once had. Except I wasn't drowning in the hole. I could just like dive. I could just put my hands together like, uh, the way that the emotions doesn't like to enjoy. But doesn't, doesn't enjoy trying to track. Like this. And I could just go and just dive down into the into the soil. That was a fun dream. Very, very satisfying. Hmm. Maybe it was foreshadowing. Maybe I actually am a long nuke. Or was in a previous life. And it was like post-shadowing rather than foreshadowing, right? I'm not going to become a long nuke after this life. <sighs> okay, let's make it so that we can go into the, the hole, I guess. And out. We'll worry about reusing the holes later. Hmm. Oh, maybe I should also um, put the have the cheese on my face first. Have the cheese do something when it hits my face. Right now, the cheese just looks like this. Um, by the way, this is actually a cheese that Cat drew. It was really high resolution, and I shrunk it down to this size, which is why the outline is so thin. Um, but maybe I should, you know, uh, use like a slice of cheese instead. So that it, you know, lands on my face. Because just having a block of cheese stuck to the face would be a bit weird. Time to lossy compress. Ah? Keza. Time to lossy compress. No, I, I don't want to use a huge slice of cheese anyway. A huge cheese image anyway. I mean, you can't lossily compress in Game Maker anyway. You know, when you're rendering it, you still have to render the whole thing, so... It would still be really slow. It's called cool. Nuke and it's off. <sighs> Why am I being cheese scoop? I'm gonna change the music, by the way. This music is a little too, you know... Active. <laughs> Let's go to this. There we go. I mean to lower the res of the cheese. I mean, I just scale it down. That's, that's, that's all it takes. I need a simple game idea generator. Have you considered even just GPT-2? Uh, let alone chat GPT. I feel like chat, chat G, I feel like GPT two could even do it if you just gave it a couple of examples. I told it to continue the text. You know, list of game ideas. Colon. Blah 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 blah. blah. Bully the bot. <laughs> no, no bot abuse. No cat abuse either. Okay, when cheese hits me in the face, I kind of wanted to uh, stick to my face. What is a good way of doing that? I wonder. I mean, I could just, in the draw event here, just additionally draw a cheese on my face if I'm currently in a cheese state. Yeah, it's probably the easiest way to do it. Is cheese is false. In the draw event, we want to do this thing again, basically just uh, draw ourself. Uh, X scale, Y scale, image angle, sprite color, is everyone called that? Oh wait, it was called something else, wasn't it? The sprite... Uh... Oh, image! Sorry, image! I'm just called... Hello? No? Blend, that's the one. Image alpha... Okay, so this is basically just replacing the original 
default. This is basically the default draw event. If you don't include anything in your draw event. If you include something in your draw event here, then it won't automatically draw itself, the sprite of this object. So that's why I have to manually add it. Also, is this me? Is this music a bit loud? Oh yeah, right, I know, I loud. There we go. Glad it turned up a bit extra high for uh, the game. <laughs> You can change the volume of once you've started. A bit strange. I'm gonna lie. Okay, if is cheesed. Then, uh. What was I doing before? Hmm. I'll be happy of putting it in brackets. Not that you need to. I'm just so in the habit of doing that for C. Uh, even Python, I think, requires it, right? Right? All the C variants do. That I've seen so far, at least. Yeah, I just feel happier seeing it in brackets. It makes me feel more comfortable. <laughs> How pathetic. Okay, so if is cheesed. Is this cheese? Yeah, the origin is the center. Nice. Let's just draw. Sprite cheese. Sub-image zero, there is only one sub-image. Maybe I could make the cheese have the same number of frames as the sliding along. And it just sort of flutters a bit in the animation every time I move along, right? Because it's a slice of cheese hanging. It's not right now. I'm just doing this as a placeholder, but eventually. Which year did you start streaming? Maybe ChatGPT already knows about you. Nah, it doesn't. Um, I started streaming... <coughs> In 2019, I started properly streaming at the end of 2019. Did a few test streams before that, but I didn't have my own Unity set up at that time. But no, there's, there's no way it would know about the weird, the weird cat on the internet. We'll just draw the cheese at the same position. And afterwards, so the cheese should appear on top if it's cheesed. Hmm. How many frames should the cheese stay on my face for, I wonder? Maybe 10? Cheese... Durr. Che as in like that, cheese duration. 10. Number of steps. Thank you for that bad smoke attack! I'm gonna take a bath and enjoy the stream, everybody. Ah! No worries! Enjoy a bath. Yes. Number of steps. Cheese remains on face. Cheese. Cheese. Steps. Max. And we're gonna have cheese. Steps. Cut for the current number of steps. Which starts off as zero. This is a uh, current number of frames that we've been cheesed. Okay, so we're just going to increment this every step, if necessary. This triggers cat start throwing cheese if necessary. And this is... Remove cheese from our face. If there's any on it, and it's time to. So if is cheesed... Actually, you know what we could do? There's an easier way to do this. Uh, we can just... Uh, cheese steps max, cheese steps more. Hmm, what we can actually do is have this start from cheese steps max, decrement by one on every step, and then when it becomes zero, we, you know, we don't deal with it anymore. That way we can just do away with having a separate variable. I would say I wish I found you back when you started, but I didn't use Twitch much before the big C started. I mean, didn't that start in the beginning of 2019? Or end of 2018? I started after that. Um, number of frames remaining. For 
Number of frames still... How do I explain this? Number of frames still remaining for Cheese to be on phase 4. <laughs> Until cheese falls off face, I guess we would say. Oh, end of 2019? Was it end of 2019? Okay. So it's 18. Okay. Well, I mean, I started in December, so... Oh, wait, no, no, November. Properly. I did a few test streams before that. I actually still have a clip. That I think it was Nimu clipped. Of the very, very end of a test stream where I had been playing Burnout. Uh, okay. That was a test stream, like, from back in, I think, May? The big C19... Oh, yeah, right, in COVID-19, yeah. If it's cheesed... I don't, I don't care about saying it. <laughs> if cheese... So, no. So, if this... Sergeant Zero. Uh, just decrease it by one. We can't use like double plus or double minus notation in here. It doesn't understand it. So you have to actually put minus equals one. And obviously we could trigger like an animation for it to go like, bloop, off the face or something at this point here if we, if we wanted to. Okay, so a way to trigger that in the first place is if the cheese... Oh, actually, it's right here. Equals cheese steps max. So we'll just reset the count at that moment. Alright, so now cheese should be able to go on our face. The big C is a much funnier name for it, I guess. Nice! Look at that! Oh, the cheese... Right, the cheese orientation doesn't change, does it? We should already change that. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nice! Alright, that works. Let me just make it so the cheese rotates in the same way as the... The uke face does. And flips and stuff. Image, X scale, image, Y scale, image, angle... White, I guess. Well, I can blend in the same way as... If for some reason we need to go semi-transparent, that the cheese good as well. Ah! Thank you for the pets! Is Kat here? I'm not sure. She said she was lurking earlier, but she's working, so... Yeah. She's here in spirit. In other words, there's a tail that you can lick. And she... Reeves! If you go in front. Let's just see if this works now. There you go, now the cheese rotates. Look at that. It's a bit weird because the perspective of the cheese changes depending on which way you're going, but... I don't think that's too bad. I think that's pretty good. Yee, cat's drawing. Because I was about to say, computer cat has better aim than real cat, and I don't want to get bonked. <laughs> nice, okay. I think you're safe. You can say it. Yeah, she is drawing. Wait! Is she doing a Picato stream right now? Shit, am I missing a Picato stream? Fuck! Oh my god! Okay, one sec, I'm gonna get it up so I can just glance at it. Fuck, I... Damn, how... She must have been doing this for hours now, because she said she was gonna work before. I didn't realise she meant... It took me this long to realise that she was streaming. Ah, uh, I am missing you. And don't have sound. <gasps> she didn't start immediately? Okay, how long has she been going for? Does Picardo tell you how long they've been streaming for? Wait, I'm gonna just look in my emails, I guess. I don't have got a notification email. Um Hold on, where is it? Here, uh fifteen forty nine. So she's been going for fifty minutes, okay. Interesting. Uh, by the way, um, for those of you who don't know, and who like uh, spicy stuff, I mean, I don't like spicy food, but I mean, images are kind of nice. Uh, yeah, the person who I'm talking about is... Ta-da! My goodness. 
good friend of mine. Um, yeah, she's currently not streaming on Twitch. She's streaming on Picasso. Is it illegal to say that on Twitch? Is it illegal to like uh, mention competitor sites? Anyway, you can probably find a link to Picasso on, on there. I'm not entirely sure. Some, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, you'd be able to find a link to it. I know that she has a link on her Discord. So. Anyway, yeah, she's a very good artist. She also drew that drew that emote. Um, she also drew this emote and this emote. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get back to this. Okay, so cheese can go on your face now. Let's make it so that you cannot lick if you have cheese on your face. So spawn the tongue if necessary. So if there is no tail, we break immediately. Cheese. Um. Oh god, Picato is maxing out my stream apparently. My my CPU. Sorry. It does the same on my phone. Makes my it's a real makes makes your hands really warm if you watch. Picato in the browser on mobile, unfortunately. Also makes your battery run out very quickly. Anyway, if my stream starts lagging now, it's because it's. Uh, <laughs> Fred, start and then. Okay, so if uh, <coughs> um, if there is no tail, then <coughs> oh my god, then um, then we don't know anything. And also, if uh, what's it called again? Cheese. Oh god, hiccuping. Cheese. Steps. Kuh. The fact that it's only showing a small segment of the code is throwing me. I'm looking and I don't see the cheese steps co in there. So I think, wait, did I accidentally delete it? Sorry, not that one, this one. Um, which one's he drawing? Oh, it's uh, that commission, yeah. Nice. If... This is larger than zero. Break. So this means don't lick if we have cheese on our face. Uh, avoid error if a cat tail doesn't exist for some reason. Okay, so we should know and be able to lick when we have uh, cheese on our face. Let's have a look. <coughs> Give me that cheese. Nice, I can no longer lick. Okay, the cheese now has an effect. I'm gonna wait for the cheese to wear off. Hey! <laughs> and immediately die, okay. Nice. I'm happy about that. Okay. So, we can grow and the cheese hits us. So the cheese is just a, a minor annoyance, really. We need something to actually avoid apart from ourselves, I feel. Something that would trigger the uke scared sound, you know? <laughs> I feel like maybe there should be like a giant cheese or something that you need to avoid and when you get too close. You trigger that. Also, I'd love to have the background actually have some tiles, you know? I should ask Nova for if I have permission to use the tiles that she made for the game jam. Because this, what I'm making here is not specifically for the game jam. That's gross, Fred. <laughs> uh, by the way, um, there's currently a game jam going on until, is it the end of February? Being hosted by Nova Liminal. Um, it's uh, throughout February, you have 72 hours to spend at your leisure to make a game. And um, Kat has emailed and everything. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But it's gross. And um, yeah, in the previous month, uh, or is it until the middle of February? Is it the middle of February or is it the end of February? I don't remember. I think it's the middle of February, right? There's maybe only one week left, actually, now I think about it. Wait, let me just have a check. <laughs> you should have checked this beforehand. Uh. How long is left? Oh, still 21 days! Okay, no, it is till the end of February. Alright. 
March the 1st, actually. In my time zone. Interesting. Apparently I got followed by Freb and Chris as well. <gasps> but yeah, um, the rules are basically throughout December, uh, an art jam was run and people submitted, like made art assets for the game, which includes sprites, backgrounds, music, 3D models, um, that kind of stuff. I actually made four pieces of music. And yeah, uh, you're only allowed to use those assets in the game jam. But yeah, if you like making games or stuff or just think it sounds like a fun thing, feel free. There's no theme, there's no winners, it's just for fun. And Nova will play them on stream. So they do need to be Twitch safe as well. There's a few other rules in there, but yeah. That's basically it. Just uh, have fun making things and then at the end get to look at the things that other people made as well. And we'll be using the same assets. Or have, you know, be pulling from the same pool of assets. Oh my god, this thing, cat's drawing, it looks really nice. Out of that hand. Wait, wait, wait. Something more important to say. Even more important than the game jam. I'm sorry, Nova, but this is more important. <gasps> there you go. That was a weirdly weak nyan. I'm sorry. Uh, was I going to do anything? I don't think I was. I think I was just happy that this worked. Alright, let's make it so that you can tunnel underground. Let's make a, at least a placeholder sprite for the hole with a tail on it. Let's make it roughly the same size as the... or exactly the same size as the tail then, I guess. 63 by 63. For 64 by 64 would mean I couldn't easily center. There wouldn't be a center pixel, basically. Yeah, let's just draw a crappy little hole. There it is. That sounds gross if you interpret it too literally. What? Why does it keep turning into... Why do I keep picking a transparent color? Why do I keep picking any color at all? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's the hole. Okay, let's make it. No line. Eventually I probably will draw this. Um, on a spread, you know, a proper spread. But that day is not today. Okay, so this is the whole amazing. <laughs> it looks so crap. Okay, I'm gonna center that as well. It's got the same. Oh, it's not actually got the same coordinates. 31, 31. Same origin, sorry. Okay. And this has this little region that's the bit you can hit. On this one, I'm not really sure where I would put it, I guess. Just have the middle of it select. The uh, middle of it, that's the part that you can hit. Say, so start at 10, 10, and 53, 53, maybe. Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, that's the middle of the sprite, roughly. Because it would be if I, like, Shoved it over a bit into the center. Like, who even cares at this point, right? Yeah, that'll do. Rectangle, yep. Yeah. Alright, let's call this SPR. Uke. Well, XP SPR. Hole, I guess. I was, gonna, I was thinking of Uke hole, Uke tail hole. All of these sound a bit strange. It's a hole. It's a hole in the floor, right? But it's for the tail. Mm, you know I'm gonna make a uke tail hole, which is very weird. Makes me feel weird saying about that. As if there's a hole at the end of the tail. Oh god. I'm getting bad mental images. Uh, okay. Okay, how are we going to do this? So let's make it so that you can just press a key, just for now. And you can dig. You can make it space, because, you know, we're not using spaces for anything else. So when you press space, um, 
That's... Fromaggio. Uh, what is this? Cheese. I knew. I thought it was gonna go on for longer than that. Why am I... Dory. Are you really Dory there? Okay, let's call this... Um... Nah. Cheese. Let's call this, uh... In hole? Or digging? I think we call it digging. Digging equals false. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. Let's make a setting here as well. Let's call this, um... Dig... Steps. The number of steps you'll be digging for. Let's make it two, I guess. We can configure all this stuff. Number... Of steps to dig underground for when using that power up. Steppies? <gasps> Um, alright, so we need for space, let's say, wait, ugh, we can do the exact same thing again. Dig steps max, and dig steps cur. Because that way, uh, we can get rid of one variable. Just set this to this at the beginning, have it count down, one, zero, and then you're out, you know? And that way you could also, if you saved up a whole bunch of digging power-ups, perhaps you could just like, for a space a bunch of times, use them in a, in a row, right? And you add this to this each time, so you can extend the amount of time that you can be underground for. You could go two, four, now you can dig for four steps. Okay, number of frames remaining until digging power-up runs out or wears off. Then starts at zero. So when you press space, we'll say this becomes this. Then on the next step, we're going to consider what that is. Ah, you know what? This is actually really useful. We can just not draw ourselves if this is larger than zero. There you go. That's that's how we how we dig. Just don't draw yourself if we're currently digging. Nice. Okay. And so we also don't want the tail to be drawn or dropped, I guess. I wonder, is it possible to specify no collision masks? Like, can I make this 12, 12 and 12, 12, for example? Still a little pixel up there. What if I make this 11? Okay, they're negative now. And I reopen it and they're still... It's still negative. And I'm seeing no box drawn here. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's a way of... Whoa, is there a way to draw here? Maybe I did at one point, but I've forgotten. Hmm. Maybe that's a way to make it not have collision. Do you recommend a mechanical keyboard, Yuke? Uh, or just in general? I mean, if you're going to do a lot of typing, it's very, very satisfying to type on. I cannot overestimate, overemphasize how satisfying it is to type. It's just like you want to type. You just want to keep on typing because it feels so satisfying and like mm, making errors, but whatever. I'm using blue switches, but you don't have to have such loud ones, but it, it, it's, it's very satisfying. If you're spending a lot of time typing, and you like the sound of it especially, <laughs> then yeah. Uh, sorry. I don't know. I, I, I enjoy it. If you've got extra money, then yeah. Uh, if you don't have a lot of money to spare, maybe not. Ah, why am I being sprayed? What did I do? Did I wake you up with my loud typing? I'm, I'm sorry if I did. Imagine being called you are a good person and spraying a cat. Unbelievable. By the way, the reason I'm thinking about how to make this have no collision mask is because it would be really easy to just uh, set the tails to have an invisible sprite with no collision mask. 
when you're digging. So the tails are still there and all the same logic can work and we don't have to worry about exceptions for when you're digging. It's just invisible tail pieces with no collision. And then you know. Ah oh, no, I just had a horrible realization. No, we would we would need to make the tails invisible. Because the the last tail piece is going to become an, the end tail piece there that that's that's the problem so that the end tail piece would suddenly appear as the tail is disappearing in other words it would be like this with pain gone this way to go it'd be like this you see nothing there as the tail catches up Suddenly a tail end piece would appear there, and then there. Like that. So it probably is best if we actually set visible to be nothing. You know, just, just don't draw anything. And then maybe set it to a sprite that has... No collision mask as well. Mind you, if we're doing that, we might as well just... <sighs> set it to an invisible sprite. Hmm, whole bunch of things to think about right now, huh? I used to think it's for annoying your coworkers, but it sounds nice. It's just very satisfying. You don't have to get loud ones, but I just love the sound of it. And, you know, I just I just don't use it at night. <laughs> or, you know, if I really want to use it, I could use it downstairs, I guess. My laptop, but I don't really use it with my laptop. Unless I'm playing, like, Step Mania or something. And it's satisfying. Then I'm not doing hard tapping on my laptop as well. Don't have to worry about, you know, damaging the hard drive or something. Uh... <laughs> I was just reminded of something very funny that happened when I was with a friend one time. And he was um, playing Step Mania and just out of really silliness. And he was on a laptop and he was just going like, he just went like, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> And the fucking entire laptop just froze. <laughs> In the middle, of, like, just, just the screen just stayed as it is, sound cut off immediately. At the <laughs> it, it was funny at the time. I mean, it's funny because it still worked fine. It, it, it all worked fine. There, there wasn't a problem. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But, uh, it, it was very funny afterwards. Turned it off and turned it back on. It's like, uh, whoops. <laughs> It just sounded so funny because it's like a really active part of the song coming and it's like really dramatic and then sudden silence. It's like... <laughs> Oops. Anyway. Let's... Um, let's uh, do something, shall we? Yeah. So the hole should appear on the frame when a tail would normally appear if... digging the current digging thing is equal to the maximum digging thing, right? The one that it starts at. Uh, although... See, what I was thinking is that would mean that if you chain using your power-up, that would be kind of nice. If you use it twice, two, you know, use it once, two. A hole appears. Because two is equal to this, right? And then you use it again, it becomes four. Nice, we don't draw a hole when it's on the four. <coughs> so unfortunately, as you're decrementing it downwards again, when it reaches two, you would then draw another hole, which would completely ruin it. So I guess we do need actually another variable, which is going to be um, starting. Let's say dig starting. Which is false. Um... True only on first step of digging. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so the way we we handle that is if the steps is zero, then we set this to true. 
Um, otherwise we don't. And we do add this every time, no matter what. So that we can chain them. Add to remaining big step count. So that power-ups can be chained. Okay, this is a complicated bit. I'm still keeping this just in case in the future that becomes useful again. Ah, uh, okay. Where are we making a new tailpiece? Here we are. Ah! Jeez! Why? Also, hi, Omni. Man, silly simulator sounds so, seem to play a lot today, huh? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm just keep glancing over to Kat's Picato stream. Pretty nice. Everybody be lurking? That's fine. That's fine. I like lurkers. I'm usually lurking in streams. Especially bigger streams. I've never really speak in big streams. <gasps> ah! Thank you for the van sexier. The pat sexier. Hi, see you later. Is that, is that what CYL means? I've never seen CYL before, but yeah, hi. Only I am here to spam chat. Oh, hi. <laughs> but yeah, bye bye, Goob, if you're going. Thanks very much, very much for stopping by. Feel free to to uh, to to spam. I mean, you know, <laughs> within reason. Not literally spam. Uh. Hmm. I do wonder why your name shows up purple in the Twitch chat, but. That purple color is not. Hello. Wow. That purple channel is the purple color is not sent along with the IRC message. So um, my chat above is showing a name white. I don't understand why. I have a soothing voice and good music. Oh, thank you. I mean, I didn't make this music, but I'm glad you like the music that I'm playing. Easy to have in background while working. Nice. For you, it's orange. Wait, what? What? I mean, it's, it's purple here. Wow, that's interesting. So is it just actually just random? Per person? Is that why? Teal on my screen? Okay, okay, okay. So I get it, I get it, I get it. So because if a color's not selected, then it's random. I see, I see. But on my stream, if a color's not selected, it's white. I see. On my, on my, on my Unity thing above. If a person hasn't explicitly picked a chat color, they'll get a random one every place that's requested. Yeah, but it's also consistent. So I guess if I were to refresh the chat, it might change? I like my white name though. I'm a special planner. Nice. That's interesting though. I'm very surprised that it's different per person as well. I thought it might be based on a hash of the name or something. I used to have an IRC client that did that. It was um, it could color everybody's name based on basically a hash of the name, which was really useful for me, who is used to telling people apart by color when I'm seeing names. Mm. And yeah, even though the colors just, you know, I'm the only one seeing it. It just helps me tell people about it and recognize people, you know, based on length of name and color. Anyway. Okay, so where are we doing things? This is setting the sprite to a tail corner piece. Uh, We're going to need very special handling for all of this now, aren't we? Wait, I've got an idea. I'm thinking about the implications of this. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh... Uh... Okay, I'm sorry, this is probably going to be a really uninterested, uninteresting stream right now. I am Yukiya top 10 most beloved viewer, I'm sure. I mean... 
You can become a most patent. Pat but it's fine, it's fine. You can totally eat. Chat, you don't need to worry about that. It's fine. I like it, chat. Uh, okay, I'm trying to work out the implications of this. So, here's the thing. On the next step, I could go bam and use the digging power up at the same time. In which case, just putting a hole here wouldn't work. This would need to become a, a corner piece. I guess that could become a corner piece and then you put a hole there? so confusing to me right now. Um? What's up, Goom? What's up? What is up? Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna have to go quiet and think for a moment. Apologies. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not as boring. I guess it can be ASMR for a moment. Wait, how has it been four hours I've been streaming? What the hell? Maybe I should stop at this moment since I need to actually think about this. Maybe I'll do this off stream. Because it's been four hours and I haven't had a lot of sleep. So. <laughs> do you hear my excuses coming out? You know, I think I'm going to call it here for now. We've done a tiny little bit. We've made it for actually more game like. We've barely touched this though. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. The main point of the stream was Iron Lung. Gonna play some games, have fun doing art. Alright, I'm I mean I'm ending as well. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here actually. Because this this involves a little bit of thinking. But yeah, enjoy uh, enjoy your games. Thanks very much for stopping by, Tina. Um yeah. I think I'll stop now. Nothing. It's just what you have on screen. Looks strangely similar to a penis. Really? Does it does it actually oh I guess it kinda does, maybe. <laughs> It even has a head as well. Ah, thank you for the hearts, Fripper. And yeah. Alright, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end. But I hope this stream has been interesting. Or just not, not interesting in the slightest, but you know, fun. I mean, if it's been interesting, that'd be amazing. I don't think I've done much interesting. I literally just played a game and didn't even add much code at all. Ah. Now you get to hear me doing my sneaky behind the scenes looking up of, uh, wait. Of, uh, someone to raid. Uh, yeah, I probably can't link to cat stream directly because obviously very NSFW. But hey, um, we could do an indirect raid to cat's Picato stream if, if you are over 18 and want to see that kind of thing. Um, but you'd need to find it. From her, <laughs> from her, from her place. I'm not sure if she has a link on Twitch or if it's only in her Discord server. But yeah, I'm gonna be over there. But I will also pass you on to somebody else on Twitch. Um, who should I pass you on to? Owlie's currently playing Genshin Impact. Mint is playing Arts. Uh. I wonder if anyone's using Game Maker right now. One person is. Are they a VTuber though? That's a real question. Man, there's music! Thanks for streaming. No worries, no worries! Well, we'll find out if they're a VTuber after this ad break, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for coming! Um, I'll be streaming again tomorrow at 8pm UTC. Uh, so this, this time up here is UTC. Right now, anyway, uh, <laughs> it's just my time zone and my time zone happens to be UTC right now. Yeah, Albie is streaming. Um, I might pass on to her. Um, oh my god, this is the longest advert ever, I swear to god! Oh, they actually are a VTuber of sorts. Well, 
just, you know, it's not tagged for YouTube event. It's like an icon representing it. Uh, thank you very much for the hydration, Stewie. Mm. Oh my god, that was the most realistic hand tracking I've ever seen for my for my bottle. Normally it's way more glitchy and like, but that was actually pretty good. You know what? I'm not gonna pass onto someone using Game Maker, and the reason is because they're gonna be curious about what I was doing, and I don't wanna have to show them the crappy thing that is how it currently looks. My game, that is. So I think I'm actually going to pass you on to Ali <laughs> right now. Uh, I'm not laughing about the fact that I'm passing on to Ali. I, I, I like Ali. She's she's a very kind person. And she was just here earlier as well, right at the very beginning of the stream even. But yeah, she's currently playing Genshin Impact. Um, which is, dare I say, a little more of a completed game than what I was just working on. But yeah, alright, I'll pass you on to Ali. And yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Um, hopefully you didn't get too scared during Iron Lung. Let's start the raid and do a shout out. Ta da! There she is. Look at the cutie. She says she's Seiso. Um, I, I don't know about that. Her, the Seiso command, exclamation mark Seiso in her chat. Um, man, look at this quality. Okay, never mind. Go to, going a bit too close. I'll show you the JPEG artifacts. Yeah, her, her Seiso command, command is, uh, you know. <gasps> Agnes! Hi! Um, her say -so command seems to be a bit broken because it keeps on saying that I'm say -so. Maybe it's just basing on what they've seen on Twitch. But yeah, um, I just try to keep it Twitch friendly. Anyway, if you'd like to know when I'm streaming next, then, uh, well, it's, it's 8 p.m. tomorrow. But also, uh, you can also find out because I post a schedule right there. No, uh, there for you, sorry. <laughs> on my OBS, it's over there. For you, it's over there. Um, and I also post when I'm going live on Discord, so if, you, if you'd like to know, feel free to follow. If you don't, feel free to not. That's all for me. Um, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna disappear. <gasps> ah! Ah! Them. Okay, right, fine. I'll stay gone. Jeez. Hutao Koda? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I'm not coding Genshin Impact. 